Chapter 2541 New Comprehension This time, Long Chen had gained over 800,000 poison dragon corpses. When the corpses landed in the black soil of the primal chaos space, they were quickly devoured, and the heavenly Kilin demon trees began to thrum with life once more. This allowed Long Chen to relax slightly. It was only with the heavenly Kilin demon trees that he could barely use the six star battle armor. Having this trump card available again made him feel much more at ease although the heavenly Killin' demon trees had yet to fully recover, it still gave him some confidence. Let's go. Long Chen led Chi Li and the others away. Activating the leaf once more, a rune appeared on his chest, and they were transported to the valley of the wild beasts when they arrived. Long Chen couldn't see Guo Ran and the others anywhere. Boss, over here. Long Chen finally saw Guo Ran hiding within a pile of rubble and jumped in shock. Guo Ran was covered in blood, and his armor was badly damaged, on the verge of shattering. What happened? Asked Long Chen. Boss, if you weren't my boss, I'd really think you were trying to con us. We were attacked by four 13th rank beasts at the same time and almost died. If it weren't for Wild breaking a golden eagle's wing, we wouldn't have been able to run. Guo Ran almost cried. This was his first time being so unlucky since entering the Starfield Divine World. Four 13th rank beasts. Long Chen sucked in a cold breath of air. The Luo spirit race's warriors were just as shocked. The fact that Guo Ran, Yu Zifeng, and Wild had managed to survive such an assault was a testament to how tough their lives were. Long Chen looked into the distance and saw fresh blood in the valley. There had definitely been a bloody battle and there were still some corpses left behind countless beasts inside were vigilantly keeping an eye on their surroundings. However, Long Chen didn't see a single 13th rank beast back then. The three of them had joined forces to kill a 13th rank beast, but that had drawn out four terrifying beasts from further within Yu Zifeng had unleashed his sword chi on them repeatedly, but they were too powerful for his sword chi to leave any fatal wounds on them. As the battle went on, Yu Zifeng was almost killed by a golden eagle's wing it was fortunate that Wild was strong enough, and he managed to break the golden eagle's wing with his door bolt. Only then did the three of them manage to use their speed to escape from the other three beasts after escaping, they didn't dare go back. If they had gone any deeper, they would have been surrounded and probably would have died there. At that time, their lives had truly been hanging by a thread the three of them had been waiting here the entire time since then. Now. Wild was busy eating the 13th rank beast that they had killed. His mouth was bloody. Boss, this place is too terrifying. Even if they can't leave the domain of the blue barrier, we can't deal with them, said Guo Ran. If four 13th rank beasts had come out in an instant, then who knew what was deeper? No need to worry. I've obtained the good stuff. Long Chen began to take out house-sized poison sacks filled with black liquid. These are the poison dragon's poison sacks. Guo Ran cautiously opened one of them, only to find that the poison didn't have any odor. Confusing him, Evil Moon said that those poison dragons had spent a long time consuming demonic bugs which strengthened their poison even more than the ones that we fought against before. You just need to turn it into poison mist, and you can instantly poison all of the beasts here. I've already tried it, and it was very convenient, said Long Chen Guo Ran took out an arrow and dipped the arrowhead in the poison. When he took it out, the arrowhead had turned pitch black. The poison had automatically merged into the metal. Damn, this really is convenient. Guo Ran immediately took out a huge number of arrows and tools. After that, he poured the poison into a giant vat, and the Luo spirit race's warriors immediately stepped forward to help Long Chen warn them all to be careful. This poison was extremely potent. If they were nicked by a poison arrow, it could instantly take their lives the Luo spirit race's warriors also knew how terrifying these things were, and they were cautiously slow with their help. Things rapidly progressed. Long Chen then called Guo Ran to turn the poison stingers, poison claws, and poison fangs into tiny bone fragments the Luo spirit race's arrows were made of wood containing sacred energy that allowed them to easily pierce armor, but those arrows could not be poisoned however, these poison stingers, claws, and fangs already had poison in every inch of them. They contained three different kinds of poison, one for pain, one for paralysis, and one for corrosion. If these fragments entered the body of a 13th rank beast, the poison would automatically be released. As a result, 
It was these fragments that were the true killing weapon Long Chen had Guo Ran bind those fragments to the wooden arrows. If shot into the body of a beast, then probably even a 13th rank beast wouldn't be able to endure being shot by too many as a result. The millions of Luo spirit race warriors became Long Chen's most dependable helpers. Guo Ran took charge of the poison bone fragments. While the Luo spirit race's warriors quickly poisoned the arrows with their immense manpower, they were finished in just half a day. Guo Ran was now confident and ready to charge right back into the valley however, just as he was about to charge back in, he suddenly courteously said, Boss, something as badass as this should be left to you to lead. This little brother will support you from the rear. Long Chen curled his lip. Guo Ran was most definitely worried about his broken armor and didn't want to take the vanguard. You can stay with Qi Li and control the tempo of the battlefield. Ziffeng, Wild, and myself are enough. Long Chen charged into the valley, with Wild and Yu Ziffeng following as soon as they entered the valley. Countless roars rang out. Those beasts glared at Long Chen through the blue barrier with an ominous light in their eyes. It seemed that they were waiting for him to enter so they could tear him to pieces. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen swept Evil Moon out horizontally, and a black crescent moon shot out. It quickly grew as it flew through the air. After that, Long Chen followed this crescent moon forward. Only now do I understand what the old man meant about the essence of the eighth form. While the blade leaves the body, the soul resides within it. Only then does the attack contain its own soul. I was never able to find that feeling before, but I can sense it easily now. Is it due to the sixth star? Wandered Long Chen as the crescent moon left Evil Moon. Long Chen felt a subtle connection between it and his soul. Before this, the eighth form's attack would have its power constantly ground down as soon as it left the blade. The eighth form was strongest just as it was unleashed as it flew through the air. Its power began to scatter, and it was impossible to concentrate it. That was a common problem with all battle skills however, in a battle between experts who would allow Long Chen to unleash his strongest attack right next to them? That was why assassins were so terrifying because their power was concentrated and erupted in an instant. Such an attack was the most dangerous however, no matter how lethal an attack was, if it couldn't reach the opponent, it was meaningless. So the most terrifying thing about assassins was not necessarily their attacks, but their ghost-like movement techniques other than the attacks of assassins. Other attacks were essentially all large-scale attacks. Once the attack left the body, it would leave the control of the user. This was common knowledge however. Now Long Chen had gained insight into the old man's realm. When the eighth form of Split the Heavens left his body, he could merge his soul with it. Strengthening it as it passed through the air the crescent moon continued growing, and rumbling rang out. It was as if the world was being cut in two Guo Ran and Yu Zifeng were dumbfounded to see this. They had seen Long Chen Yu split the heavens many times, but they had never seen such a phenomenon. The crescent moon was not scattering, but growing stronger and stronger instead. This had already escaped the realm of common sense of battle skills and magical arts finally. The crescent moon fell upon those beasts. Tearing through the blue barrier those beasts were cut through as easily as tofu and blood filled the air the most shocking thing though was that normally Long Chen's attack would explode at this moment, but now it continued onward through the beasts Long Chen followed his attack, his divine sense still locked onto the giant crescent moon, in that instant, he felt like the ruler of heaven and earth, as if he possessed the power to split heaven and earth, as if all deos in this world existed for him, it was a feeling he couldn't explain Long Chen focused on his attack as he had to fully comprehend this power. If he couldn't, then whether or not he could replicate this attack next time would be up to luck. Countless beasts were cut in two by Long Chen's attack like wheat being reaped. That sight stunned the Luo spirit race's warriors. Heavens, as expected of the prophesied son, he only grows stronger and stronger exclaimed the Luo spirit race's warriors they had witnessed Long Chen use the eighth form of split the heavens before, but this time his attack was many times stronger in just a few days. He had managed to completely transform the same technique. They couldn't help being stunned by Long Chen's talent and comprehension ability. His growth rate was astonishing the giant blade swept through the entire valley before finally exploding, transforming into a mass of runes. After those runes faded, 
it revealed a valley empty of beasts. Damn. Boss is growing more and more monstrous. Guo Ran was gobsmacked just at this moment. Furious roars rang out from the channel at the back of the valley. Countless beasts poured out. Boss, be careful. Those four fellows have come out again, shouted Guo Ran. He saw the four beasts that had almost killed them within that tide of beasts. Six star battle armor. Six stars lit up within Long Chen's divine ring and a berserk aura erupted. In the face of a giant rhinoceros, he unleashed a single punch at its head. Chapter 2542 Giant Demonic Forest Boom The giant rhinoceros was sent tumbling back by Long Chen's punch. After that, a huge wave of earth exploded, and even the other three 13th rank beasts were affected and staggered back. Damn, Guo Ran's jaw dropped. Those 13th rank beasts were incredibly powerful. Back then, they had been forced to flee miserably by the Mu Zifeng sword. Chi was only able to leave a cut on their necks and unable to cause any lethal wounds. Hence, this scene was hard to believe. However, while the rhinoceros was sent tumbling back, fresh blood poured out of Long Chen's arm. As expected, it's still no good. This power is too violent. No matter how careful I am. It's useless Long Chen looked at his bloody arm and sighed. However, he was also pleasantly surprised by how powerful the six-star battle armor was, and he looked forward to when he could fully control it Long Chen retreated from the state of the six-star battle armor. After that, he slashed Evil Moon at the rhinoceros's neck, shouting, Ziffeng. Yu Ziffeng instantly understood and unleashed a streak of sword Qi Long Chen's attack caused a cracking sound to ring out when it landed on the rhinoceros's neck. Although he managed to break its bones, he was unable to sever its head just at that moment. Yu Ziffeng's attack accurately landed on the wound Long Chen had made. Blood splashed and a mountain-sized head flew into the air. What? Long Chen jumped, not having expected Yu Ziffeng's attack to actually kill it. He had thought that at most. Yu Zifeng might be able to cut apart its bones and not its whole head. It's thanks to boss's saber attack just now. Because of it, I managed to break through a bottleneck that has trapped me for many years, said Yu Zifeng excitedly when Long Chen used the true essence of the eighth form of Split the Heavens. It gave Yu Zifeng the spark of insight he needed to break through his bottleneck. His sword da required comprehension, and Long Chen's insight allowed him to understand an aspect of his sword Dao as well. This understanding was then what allowed the power of his sword Dao to soar boom just at that moment. Wild's door bolt smashed into the golden eagle. Both sides were knocked back. Again. All right. Long Chen and Yu Zifeng grabbed hold of that opportunity. Once more attacking from the left and right. Sword Chi and a saber image sent the eagle's head flying after two attacks. A hint of rosiness appeared on Yu Zifeng's face. He was just about to attack the third 13th rank beast when Long Chen suddenly shouted at him. Ziffeng. Stop. Retreat. Yu Ziffeng stared at him blankly. But he still flew back Long Chen grabbed Wild and also retreated. But he didn't forget to grab the two corpses on the ground. Guo Ran. Attack. Shouted Long Chen as a result. Arrows rained down and miserable roars came from those beasts as they fell. The poison dragon's poison was so powerful that even these powerful beasts were only able to struggle for a few breaths time before dying. Boss. I. Yu Zifeng suddenly felt the world spinning around him. Like he was about to faint. Your soul was affected. Just now. There was definitely something wrong with your two attacks. The Saber Dao is not a match for your sword Dao. You can use it as a reference. But you can't imitate it. Said Long Chen after Yu Zifeng had unleashed his second attack. Long Chen noticed something off. Yu Zifeng's spiritual strength could only be considered average because a sword cultivator did not cultivate the body, the soul, or magical arts. They only cultivated the sword in their hand. Other than their sword Dao, everything else about them was lacking. The eighth form of split the heavens required a domineering spiritual strength as a foundation. It was very different from the sword Dao's light and graceful attacks. Although Yu Zifeng's comprehension skill was very high, he had yet to completely think it through and had already put his new comprehension to use. Because of this, his attacks just now had deviated slightly from the sword Dao, resulting in a backlash that was why Long Chen immediately gave the order to retreat. If they were surrounded by those beasts, he wouldn't be able to look after both Wild and Yu Zifeng Boom as expected. 
Even 13th rank beasts were unable to endure the poison. A spotted tiger finally fell to the ground once it was turned into a hedgehog from the rain of arrows it had been struck by tens of thousands of arrows. Despite the arrows barely being able to pierce its tough hide, the poison was too strong the other 13th rank beast also let out one last unwilling roar before collapsing as for the other beasts charging out. They also fell to the ground. A mountain of corpses quickly piled up. Wild. Hold the line. Quickly clean up the battlefield shouted Long Chen. He had the Luo spirit race as warriors suppress the channel with their arrows. While the others quickly grabbed all the corpses after just a few seconds. Rumbling came from the channel. And more and more 13th rank beasts came flying out. Seeing that. Long Chen immediately gave the order to retreat Long Chen and the others quickly retreated to outside the barrier. In just a moment. The space within the barrier was already packed with powerful beasts. Amongst them were over 10 13th rank beasts. They roared furiously, but they didn't dare to charge out of the blue light Long Chen led everyone away. Finding a secluded place, they began to count their spoils of battle. Ziffeng, are you alright? Asked Long Chen. Boss, I might need to go into seclusion to fully digest this spark. Said Yu Ziffeng Long Chen nodded. He then sent Yu Zifeng back to the mother tree, the best place to go into seclusion. Once Yu Zifeng had fully explored his new insights, Long Chen believed that he would be much more terrifying the four 13th rank beasts corpses were given to Wild. As their meat possessed such immense power, even Wild could only eat them one mouthful at a time. Also, it was a good thing that he was immune to poison and could eat the two beasts that had been poisoned to death as for the other corpses. Long Chen tossed them into the primal chaos space. The heavenly Killin demon trees had grown slightly listless after he activated the six-star battle armor and needed to heal his arm. But with the addition of millions of corpses, that loss was negligible. There were so many corpses that there wasn't enough space to place them all. Hence, Long Chen ended up with a mountain of corpses on top of the black soil. They were slowly devoured after that. The abundant life energy caused the heavenly Killin demon trees to grow wildly. Since there was no way for Long Chen to grow a forest of mother trees, he could only focus his attention on the heavenly Killin demon trees. They had originally reached a height of 300 meters, but as the huge amount of life energy filled this space, they quickly grew after just two hours. All the corpses were absorbed. And the heavenly Killin demon trees reached a height of 3,000 meters they had grown 10 times taller. But the amount of life energy they contained was more than 100 times greater. At this point, they finally grew out of their sapling state. Branches and leaves had sprouted, growing in every direction. Let's go back to the poison dragon abyss. Long Chen was so excited that he almost started shouting. If the heavenly Killin demon trees had possessed this much life energy in the last battle. He would have dominated the battlefield even if he was constantly injured and healing while he fought. He would be able to exhaust them to death. As long as he wasn't killed in an instant. It could be said that he also possessed an undying body as for the Dao wounds in his body. Although the mother tree was powerless to heal them. The heavenly Killin demon trees caused them to quickly heal now that their life energy had reached such a level. As a result, Long Chen could be said to have recovered to his peak condition after that. They returned to the Poison Dragon Abyss. As Long Chen's spiritual strength had essentially recovered, Evil Moon unleashed its dragon pressure once more. On their way, Guo Ran and the others killed the terrified Poison Dragons and harvested their poison sacks and other things this time. Long Chen went deeper than before, and he finally saw the giant 10,000 dragon nest. But at this point, his spiritual strength ran out once more. After cleaning up the battlefield, he didn't wait for more poison dragons to come out, and they retreated again they then returned to the beast valley and unleashed their poison arrows, killing the beasts. After using up their poison arrows, they hunted again in the poison dragon abyss and so on. Things repeated themselves after a full seven days. Long Chen didn't have any idea just how many poison dragons he had killed or how many beasts they had gathered in any case. Just Wild already had 230 13th rank beast corpses. That was not counting the ones he had eaten moreover. The heavenly Killin demon trees were flourishing. They had finally reached a height of 300 miles. Every one of them contained an astonishing amount of life energy. It felt like Long Chen had an endless spring of life now. 
Boss, the poison dragons have all been killed. Guo Ran shrugged, standing inside the 10,000 dragon nest. Damn, it's too bad the four divine bones have had their energy sucked away. Well, if not for that, it wouldn't have been able to produce so many poison dragons, said Long Chen regretfully. All right, call out Jarishan to do his work. He can absorb the 10,000 dragon nest. There's definitely an enormous amount of immortal metal contained within it. Chapter 2543 Long Chen's fear in front of everyone's shocked gazes. The giant 10,000 dragon nest began to turn to ruins. Long Chen, Guo Ran, you won't have good deaths. Unless you kill me, I'll definitely make you live a life worse than death. Sharishan's miserable scream came from the forging table. His voice was full of bitter resentment as he had been turned into Guo Ran's tool for extracting metal. With the forging table's runes suppressing him, he couldn't even fight back he could only obediently absorb immortal metal for Guo Ran, and once his power reached a certain level, Guo Ran would start forcing that immortal metal out of his body Guo Ran was very cautious about this. He didn't want Jarishan to recover too much and be able to break his seal. So he immediately smashed the metal out of him once Jarishan had absorbed enough Jarishan's hatred for Guo Ran could no longer be expressed with words because he had used up all the curse words he knew. He had even made a few new ones, but that didn't resolve the hatred in his heart fortunately. Guo Ran had gotten used to his cursing, and he continued striking him with his hammer, causing the immortal metal to fly out of Jarishan's body. After he was done. He left with Long Chen the channel in the Beast Valley had also been emptied, and they finally saw what was on the other side of the channel. It was a giant altar the beasts had been killed, so there was no need to keep this channel. Long Chen then destroyed the altar, severing this channel between the Starfield Divine World and whatever world the beasts were coming from both regions had been destroyed by Long Chen. After a bit, Long Chen was preparing to go to the Heavenly Scorpion Valley. But Ling Shi stopped him. Ling Shi said that the Heavenly Scorpion Canyon was now the only training area of the Starfield Divine World. It wasn't good to destroy it. Furthermore, the Heavenly Scorpion Canyon was the weakest of the three regions. Leaving one place for the Luo Spirit Race's warriors to train was good. Moreover, they couldn't threaten the Luo Spirit Race's safety due to those reasons. Long Chen left the Heavenly Scorpion Canyon as it was. After that, he brought everyone back to the mother tree. There, he saw that everyone had climbed to the peak of the mother tree and had gone into seclusion. The lightning dragon and flame dragon were already done with their training. Unfortunately, the flame and lightning energies here were only enough to allow them to recover their energy, not to let them make a breakthrough. Since staying any longer was meaningless, they returned to Long Chen's body. Long Chen was also planning on going into seclusion. The moon and star refining furnace and the demon moon furnace had refined a huge number of pills for him that could allow him to advance. Boss, don't go into seclusion. If you do, I'll be on my own. I can't go looking for ores by myself. What if I run into Feng Fei or Yi Ming? I don't even have my battle armor any longer. Who knows whether or not Jarishan has a way to message Feng Fei. You have to stand guard, or I can't go out said Guo Ran although Guo Ran was able to quickly transport himself within the range of the mother tree's territory. An opponent like Feng Fei was more than capable of locking space and preventing him from fleeing since Guo Ran had Jarishan in his hands. He wanted to use him to the fullest. Moreover, Guo Ran's goal was to gather all the ores of the Starfield Divine World. So he was itching to get started. Fine, I'll go with you. I can cultivate while you gather the ores said Long Chen. He could eat pills wherever after that. Long Chen and Guo Ran were quickly transported to one of the Starfield Divine World's largest mineral deposits. According to Ling Shi, there were over 10 large veins of ore in the Starfield Divine World. Those ore veins were so large that even someone like Jarishan would need a few centuries to absorb them all. Therefore, Ling Shi only pointed out four of the purest veins, and Long Chen and Guo Ran chose to go to one of those locations. Upon arriving, they saw a golden mountain range. Damn, the immortal metals are already revealed on the surface. The purity of this vein is incredibly high, exclaimed Guo Ran. He quickly took out his forging table Novaloon.com cm it went without saying that Jarishan was truly amazing. This giant ore vein rapidly dimmed, and in just half a day, 
The majority of those oars were sucked away then. Guo Ran got to work with his hammer. Between Jarishan's screams and curses, fragments of immortal metal came flying out. After that, Guo Ran put those away and continued gathering oars. This giant vein was filled with precious immortal metals and not just one kind of them. There were hundreds of different immortal metals here. It was a very rare place. Guo Ran was particularly fond of this place because the wide variety of immortal metals meant that he could forge even stronger battle armor for himself as Guo Ran got to work. Long Chen didn't slack off. He kept an eye on Guo Ran. While he consumed pills the fourth step of Nether Passage was the peak of the Nether Passage realm. The ninth heaven stage. However, Long Chen had 13 heaven stages to go through due to the 9 star hegemon body art he was currently at the 9th heaven stage. That was the end of the Nether Passage realm for others, but not for Long Chen he had no idea how these final heaven stages were supposed to be cultivated. All he knew was that he needed to consume pills if he wanted to advance when he had reached the fourth step of Nether Passage. He had relied on the life and death spring, but now he had to rely on medicinal pills during this time. The moon and star refining furnace and demon moon furnace had refined mountains of pills. Looking at those pills, Long Chen felt nauseous. His stomach rebelled after that. Long Chen took a deep breath and activated the evil dragon races swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability. In this state, Long Chen's stomach was like a devouring space. Fuck. I'll go all out. Long Chen grabbed a basket filled with spirit pills and demonic pills which were all top-grade giant pills. Long Chen then opened his mouth, and those pills poured into his body rumbling rang out as those pills entered his stomach. They were like volcanoes exploding, unleashing a huge amount of energy Long Chen had expected a powerful impact from consuming so many pills. However, it wasn't as big as he had expected, as he didn't feel uncomfortable at all. His stomach simply grumbled. You've activated the six-star battle armor and your physical body has gotten stronger from it. These pills can't injure you, so you can be at ease, said Evil Moon. So that's it. Long Chen immediately started devouring more and more. If it was before, he would need to rest for a while after consuming so many pills in order to digest the medicinal energy. But now he had no need to rest. His stomach could endure the torrent of medicinal energy pouring through his body. Long Chen could clearly feel the medicinal energy pouring toward the Feng Fu, Alias, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate Stars. However, that energy was not shared with the sixth Nether Gate Star. The energy of the pills poured only to the five stars. Could it be that the final three heaven stages of the Nether Passage Realm had to do with the five stars? Long Chen's divine ring automatically appeared along with the black and white energies. Within the five stars, life and death energy connected them. If he simply allowed this life and death energy to connect the five stars, then there was no way that it could create a cycle. That was because there was an extra star disturbing the cycle. The sixth star, the Nethergate star. It's doomed. Long Chen's heart sank, and he began to sweat. Even Evil Moon was silent. It seems that my cultivation order was wrong. Long Chen's voice trembled. I want to comfort you, but you're a smart person. Evil Moon sighed only at this moment in his cultivation did Long Chen realize that his life and death energy was trying to enter the image of a five-point star that perfectly matched with the five-star battle armor's image however. Now that he had already summoned the six-star battle armor, the Nethergate star was shining brightly. The five stars in the divine ring had become six that was why as his life and death energy tried to connect the five stars, it repeatedly failed. The Nethergate star disturbed the flow of life and death energy sweat soaked Long Chen's back, and he thought of a terrifying possibility. That was that it was forbidden to fully activate the sixth star within the Nether Passage realm. As a result, he now had no idea how he was supposed to take his final steps in the Nether Passage realm was his cultivation of this peerless cultivation technique about to be crippled just like this? Long Chen felt an unprecedented fear. If he was crippled like this, then there would be nowhere for him to go in this world. Everyone he cared about would die to his enemies. Thinking about this, Long Chen's hands quivered in the distance. Guo Ran was still pounding Jarishan. Not sensing Long Chen's fear Long Chen's head was empty, and his palms were sweaty. His life and death energy continued to try and condense the five-point star in his divine ring, but it was useless. After that, 
A strange sound began to come from the five stars in his divine ring. Upon hearing that, Long Chen felt like his heart was no longer pounding. He felt like the heavens were playing a huge joke on him. He could almost hear fate laughing at him. The cruelest thing in this world was to give you endless hope and then give you despair. With his cultivation path severed, all his dreams became illusory. He wasn't even qualified to undo the secrets of his origins. Long Chen clenched his fists. At the same time, his teeth creaked and his hair stood on end. He was furious. Why was the nine-star hegemon body art playing such a joke on him? Why hadn't the pill sovereign memories not mentioned this? Why was there nothing indicating such a giant cultivation taboo? Long Chen, calm down. Perhaps there's another way, shouted Evil Moon upon seeing the darkness reappearing in Long Chen's eyes. Calm down? Fuck that. Since I've deviated from the correct cultivation technique, I'll deviate it all the way to the end. Long Chen let out a furious roar. After that, the life and death energy flowing within his divine ring suddenly exploded. Chapter 2544 Creating a Side Door? Tenth Heaven Stage of Nether Passage What are you doing? Don't be impulsive. Evil Moon cried out in shock. Feeling like Long Chen had gone mad the life and death energy within Long Chen's divine ring was vainly trying to create a five-point star. However, that energy suddenly exploded, and Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood. You're crazy. You want to forcibly change the circulation of your cultivation technique. This was no ordinary cultivation technique. The nine-star hegemon body art was something that even made Evil Moon feel afraid. It definitely had a frightening origin now that Long Chen had cultivated it in the wrong order. He wanted to forcibly change the foundation of the technique. But was that really possible? Every cultivation technique that was inherited had been passed down by countless generations who had already improved them as much as possible. It could be said that after going through thousands and thousands of revisions, they had even received the approval of the heavenly deos. Hence. Every cultivation technique that remained in the world could be said to be as perfect as possible even a regular battle skill or magical art was essentially set in stone and could not be changed, let alone a technique like the nine-star hegemon body art despite Evil Moon's roars. Long Chen didn't stop. Furthermore, Evil Moon knew Long Chen's character. He wouldn't change his decision no matter who tried to convince him. In the end, Evil Moon fell silent. Sighing the five-point star kept appearing within Long Chen's divine ring and then exploding. As a result, Long Chen repeatedly hacked up blood. Looking worried, Guo Ran ran over, only for Long Chen to gesture for him to stay away. He had no other path to walk. He had no danshan, so he couldn't cultivate other cultivation techniques. The nine-star hegemon body art was his only option. You're going to break and bend to my will. Long Chen roared furiously. The sixth star quivered, forcibly changing the shape of the five-point star suddenly. Cracks covered Long Chen's entire body. It was as if he was about to explode. Long Chen, stop. A cultivation technique on this level cannot be changed by anyone. Not even a god. Evil Moon finally couldn't help interjecting again. If this continued, Long Chen would die. I refuse to believe it. Since it chose me, it shouldn't try to tease me. Since it is mine, it has to serve me. I will not be controlled by it. I am me, and no one can control me. I'm going to gamble. From today onward, it will submit to me. This nine-star hegemon body art is mine. Long Chen clenched his teeth. He vaguely realized something however. This realization could not be confirmed. And since he had no other choice, he could only gamble. If he won, he could continue on his path. If he lost. Everything would come to an end all of Long Chen's spiritual yuan, physical energy, and spiritual strength poured into his astral spaces and then flowed toward his six stars. This was opposite to the normal flow of the energy of the six stars entering his astral spaces and then the rest of his body rumbling rang out and berserk power clashed against the five-point star in his divine ring as a result. The five-point star was repeatedly destroyed and reformed. With every explosion. Long Chen's body was heavily injured, but these injuries were not being healed by the primal chaos space's life energy perhaps it was due to coming from the same source. It could be considered harming himself, so it was different from his other injuries. If this continued, perhaps he really would die however. Long Chen didn't budge. 
Even as he didn't heal, he continued to stubbornly suppress the five-point star. The five-point star had been broken dozens of times now, every time reforming according to its original circulation. On the other hand, Long Chen was covered in blood and was on the verge of collapse. Looking at him, Guo Ran was appalled but had no idea what he could do. Anyone else would give up after failing so many times. But Long Chen didn't. He had to succeed no matter what as a result. The ground turned red with his blood. Every failure caused fresh blood to splatter out even more. Evil Moon wanted to stop Long Chen. But it understood him. To give up or change his mind implied that he was giving up fighting against his fate. That he was giving up hope. Navaloon Kam his cultivation path had been severed. Resulting in his combat power never advancing again. To the prideful Long Chen. He would rather die than accept such a conclusion if Long Chen didn't continue cultivating. Then even ignoring that he would never fulfill any of his dreams. He and the Dragonblood Legion would be facing a miserable death as soon as they left the Starfield Divine World hands. Long Chen had no choice but to gamble. However, after being in contact with him for so long. Evil Moon had no confidence in Long Chen's luck. Yun Shang, as the first generation sovereign, you wouldn't have misjudged him, right? Evil Moon sighed silently, praying for Long Chen. Long Chen's body cracked like porcelain, signifying that he had reached the limit. He had failed 99 times. 99 failures are fine. Just one more time. I'm going to do it. Long Chen clenched his teeth, or he tried but he lacked the energy to do so his body was now no longer under his own control. A light touch from someone else could shatter him all his energy had been exhausted. All he had left was only enough for one final attempt at shattering the five-point star. The first 99 tries were all repeats of the same failure. Now, his power and body had reached their limits. This was truly his last attempt if he gave up. He would still have his life. If he continued trying. There was practically no chance of success. In all the previous 99 attempts, the five-point star had not shown any sign of submitting at this time. A normal person would hesitate. But Long Chen didn't boom the five-point star in his divine ring exploded again. And Long Chen's body was given the final blow to its destruction. As he collapsed, the five-point star slowly reformed just like before Long Chen could vaguely feel his body collapsing as his consciousness descended into darkness. Failure? I'm sorry everyone. Long Chen's consciousness sank deeper and deeper. He felt like he had descended into a bottomless hell. You are you, but you are not you. So why do you have to be like this? Why do you refuse to give up? A faint sigh rang out from within the darkness. The voice contained a gentle note as well as sorrow. Cough. A coughing fit pulled Long Chen out of the darkness and into the real world. Immediately, he felt a sharp pain throughout his entire body. I'm still alive. This intense pain felt like a good thing. Boss, you're awake. Guo Ran cried out emotionally. Help me sit up. I can't breathe like this. Long Chen weakly lay there. Guo Ran carefully propped Long Chen, taking out something for him to lean on. Boss, did you end up bedeviled? Asked Guo Ran from the side. Guo Ran had essentially watched Long Chen as he tried to kill himself. Guo Ran had no idea what Long Chen was doing. It was only when Long Chen collapsed that he ran over. At that time, he found that Long Chen's aura was gone, and the flame of his soul was extremely weak. He panicked. Moreover, he was no healer. If he made the wrong move here, it might only quicken Long Chen's death. His head turned empty, but just at that moment, Long Chen woke up. Fuck. It was still a failure. Once I recover, I'll have to try again. Long Chen took a deep breath, which caused his wounds to flare up. Long Chen instinctively used the primal chaos space's energy to heal. But then he remembered that these wounds weren't being healed by the primal chaos space. However, at this moment, his wounds began to rapidly heal on their own. And in just a few breaths time, his wounds were gone. Other than his spiritual yuan and spiritual strength still being empty, his body was normal. What? Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. After that, he consumed a few recovery pills after recovering a bit. He summoned the divine ring to replenish his energy faster. However, when he called it out, he noticed something off. His aura was different from before. I've reached the tenth heaven stage. Long Chen realized that his aura had grown and his spiritual yuan was more condensed. 
His spiritual strength was also a bit stronger. That was a sign that he had advanced after that. Long Chen circulated his little bit of life and death energy. But when he circulated it, the six stars in his divine ring slowly appeared. He was in a normal state and not the six star battle armor state. At this moment, the five point star once more appeared in the divine ring. However, this five point star no longer possessed its stubborn will. Following Long Chen's will, it instantly changed shape, and the six stars absorbed the little bit of life and death energy he had remaining. Congratulations on succeeding Evil Moon's side. This was inconceivable, incomprehensible. According to reason, it was impossible for Long Chen to succeed. Ha ha ha, success. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed. He felt like crying from emotion only someone who had experienced despair and finally regained hope would know just how moving that feeling was. In that instant, Long Chen became filled with confidence toward the future again. Long Chen, there are some things that I shouldn't say at this time, but I can't help it, said Evil Moon after hesitating. Speak, I know you don't want to give me a blow while I'm down, right? Long Chen still smiled. Correct. You have managed to change the method of cultivating your technique. But that also signifies that you have completely deviated from the original path of the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art. Chapter 2545 Not Dead Long Chen smiled. No one taught me or warned me. I was essentially leaving things up to fate before. After fighting with the other Nine Star Air. I realized that I had deviated from the Nine Star Hegemon Body Arts cultivation path. Now that it's fully deviated, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It means that starting from the sixth star, I'm in charge. That's quite a lofty ambition. Although I don't know the origin of your Nine Star Hegemon Body Art, it's definitely the most frightening cultivation technique I've ever seen. When my power merges with you, my soul is bound tightly by it without the slightest ability to resist. It's such a terrifying cultivation technique. But now you've decided to mess around with it near its end. Do you think you have the ability to create a new 9-star hegemon body art building on its foundation? Asked Evil Moon. If I said that I do, would you believe it? Asked Long Chen lightly. No. Said Evil Moon without hesitation. I don't believe it either. What kind of time is it for your fucking jokes? Raged Evil Moon. Ha ha ha. Who has the time to care? No matter what. The six star battle armor has already formed. It corresponds to the realm above Nether Passage. As for the path above Nether Passage. Well. A way will show itself once I get there. Laughed Long Chen. Having changed the path of the nine star hegemon body art. He felt like he had caught sight of a new path for himself. A path of limitless possibilities he had never managed to fully comprehend the nine star hegemon body art. So he had been forced to cautiously guess around. However, now this cultivation technique belonged to him, and his future path was in his own hands. He preferred this feeling although he knew that the nine star hegemon body art was an extremely terrifying cultivation technique, and that trying to blaze a new trail for it was practically as difficult as ascending the heavens. He liked having his fate in his own hands after resting a bit and recovering 30% of his spiritual strength and spiritual yuan. Long Chen returned to consuming pills to increase his cultivation base seeing that he was fine. Guo Ran got back to mining with Jarishan. Three days later, Long Chen's divine ring began to rumble once more the five-point star appeared again, only to be shattered by the power of the six stars. Its energy was consumed by the six stars and that energy bathed Long Chen's astral spaces in divine light as a result. Long Chen's aura soared once more, and he could sense his physical body growing stronger. He knew that due to the strengthening of his astral spaces, his world energy and physical body were growing as well. This was one special aspect of the nine-star hegemon body art. As his world energy grew, his six stars unleashed energy that nourished his body, allowing him to control his new world energy. This mysterious connection allowed him to fully use his new power, the 11th Havenstage. Long Chen finally realized that the final three Havenstages were used to balance the power of his physical body and his 108. 000 astral spaces at this moment. Long Chen clenched his fists and it brought forth a thunderous sound. Upon unleashing a single punch, the void shattered, and the wind blasted through the mountain in front of him. 
This was a mountain containing extremely tough immortal vein ore although Guoran had absorbed plenty of its immortal metal. It still crumbled from the wind of Long Chen's punch. I've increased my realm by two levels. And my physical strength has increased by around 30%. Based on my previous experience though, every realm increase after the ninth event stage should cause my physical strength to double. Long Chen's mood started to fall. Clearly. The reason the increase this time wasn't so high was because the efficiency of his new 9-star hegemon body art had fallen. This was not a good start. Whatever. Let's keep going. Long Chen shook his head. Since he had chosen this path already, there was no point in regrets. He could only figure things out along his way just the fact that he had three more realms than other people meant that he had a huge advantage ten days later. Long Chen had yet to reach the twelfth event stage. But Guo Ran had essentially finished sucking away the ores of this vein. They then switched locations the new location was a desert. And the ore vein was located beneath it. Since that was the case. Guo Ran brought Jarishan underground to continue mining. While Long Chen continued consuming pills after 7 days. The 6 stars lit up once more. A sign that he had reached the 12th event stage to test his strength. Long Chen then unleashed multiple punches resulting in a whirlwind of sand exploding. After a while, Long Chen stopped and smiled. My physical strength has almost doubled compared to before I started. He had essentially consumed all the pills he had accumulated during this time. Fortunately, the moon and star refining furnace and the demon moon furnace were busy refining more pills. Once he had enough, he could attempt to break through to the realm above Nether Passage originally. Long Chen had been worried about not being able to keep up with everybody else's realm. If Yi Ming, Feng Fei, and the others advanced before him, it would be troublesome however. He was no longer worried about that. No one would attempt to advance beyond the Nether Passage realm within the Starfield Divine World. All he knew was that the old man and Ku Jiangying had warned him more than once that advancing beyond the Nether Passage realm would have to wait until he returned to the Martial Heaven continent however, no one had mentioned why. It seemed that there was some taboo. In any case, Long Chen's 12th event stage could be considered equivalent to everyone else's 9th event stage. So he was now just one step from the next realm this realm was very mysterious. As no one had brought up what this realm had to do with, even the senior generation refused to answer questions about it, making their disciples quite curious during the next few days. Xia Chen also came over. He had come out of seclusion and immediately joined forces with Guo Ran with Xia Chen's formation. Jarishan's mining efficiency multiplied. Ten days later, they had sucked away the majority of the ores in the four largest veins according to the mother tree. They should not suck away all the ores. Those veins had their spirituality. If they weren't all sucked away, they would leave the seed for more ores to be born. This way, it would not destroy the balance of the world. Guo Ran and the others were quite ashamed to hear about this. Before this, they had always mined all ore veins that they found until they were empty. After that, they returned to the mother tree. Guo Ran and Xia Chen got to work, and it was to undergo a second refinement of the immortal metals. Of course, their main tool was still Jarishan's Jarishan was not just capable of gathering metal ores. He also had the powerful technique of refining immortal metal. Otherwise, his source metal wouldn't be so powerful with Xia Chen and Guo Ran taking turns. They forced Jarishan to refine the immortal metal. The metal that they beat out of him would be even stronger than his normal source metal once they forged it into armor and weapons. Adding the corresponding runes with Jarishan present. Everything went extremely smoothly. Hundreds of pure immortal metal ingots went through Guo Ran's forging, becoming incredibly precious swords and sets of armor. He was able to create hundreds of them a day as for Jarishan. He cursed and screamed every day, but Guo Ran and Xia Chen simply laughed. They continued squeezing him of his metal, not giving him even a moment of rest. Jarishan even had an urge to die. He thought of killing himself several times. But with a formation master like Xia Chen present, as soon as showed any signs of that, Xia Chen would be alerted and stop him after several attempts at this. Xia Chen set up a new formation. Now, every time Jarishan started accumulating energy for an explosion, he would be automatically struck by a hammer. In Guo Ran and Xia Chen's hands, Jarishan was truly living a life worse than death. 
he had been cast into hell. Sharishan hated the two of them to the bone, but Shia Chen and Guo Ran loved him to death. With Jarishan, their life felt beautiful. They were able to gather and purify precious metals in the fastest, most efficient way possible this time. The Dragonblood Warriors' new weapons and armor were all made thanks to Jarishan. Their power was many times greater than before since the new material that they were made of was capable of enduring stronger runes. Even Guo Ran and Xia Chen were unable to calculate just how much stronger they were as for Guo Ran's own weapons and armor. He had further purified the metal that had come out of Jarishan to make them Jarishan's source metal that they hammered out of him was already at an extremely high level of purity. Moreover, Guo Ran had spent a great deal of time and effort to further purify it twice. With such high quality material, his new armor was definitely his strongest battle armor ever as Guo Ran and Xia Chen worked on the equipment. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others began to come out of seclusion. They were all clearly refreshed and had reached the full circle of Nether Passage. Possessing the power to break through to the next realm what Long Chen hadn't expected was that Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang had also returned. The two of them were still in seclusion on top of the mother tree however, the two of them had brought back a startling piece of news. They had encountered Dong Fang Yuiyang. What? Long Chen was shocked to hear that. How was that possible? He had clearly killed Dong Fang Yuiyang. Lady Nangong said that this matter is absolutely true. The two of them even fought with Dong Fang Yuiyang. Because of it, Lady Bidang was injured. So the two of them returned here, said Zi Yan. She was also shocked by this matter. But Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu couldn't possibly be wrong about this. They had even fought against Dong Fang Yuiyang. With their power, they would have seen through a disguise. Dong Fang Yuiyang? So he has some tricks. Long Chen nodded. There was definitely something queer about this. He had actually been fooled. But it's fine. I could kill him once. So I can kill him twice. No need. I'll kill him next time. Lu Ruyan's icy voice rang out hearing her voice. Long Chen looked toward her and jumped. Lu Ruyan's aura had changed. Becoming extremely cold and sinister. She was like a different person now. Her long and narrow eyes vaguely had black runes appearing and fading in them. Looking into her eyes could make a person feel like their soul was being sucked inside. Boss, let's go hunt down Yi Ming and the others, proposed Gu Yang, instantly causing the Dragonblood Warrior's eyes to light up. Chapter 2546 Impending Crisis Long Chen shook his head. Now is not the time. The majority of everyone's armor has been badly damaged and is no longer suitable for battle. As for Yi Ming, we have no idea where he is. Within the vast Starfield Divine World, it's no different from searching for a needle in an ocean. It's a waste of time. Yi Ming now only has himself to look after, so he's not afraid of any consequences and can sneak attack us at any time. Right now, we want to prevent him from feeling cornered, rather than forcing him to do something that we'll all regret. Meng Qi nodded. Long Chen is right. Yi Ming is most dangerous now that he has nothing holding him back. With the corrupt path's viciousness, he's definitely thinking of every possible way to kill us. His target isn't just Long Chen but all our allies. We can't give him that chance. After saying that, she saw Long Chen with a light smile. Hence, she blushed slightly and demanded, Why are you looking at me like that? Did I say something wrong? Long Chen's smile widened. As expected of my trusted wife, you even planned strategies for us. Meng Chi turned even redder. Long Chen was actually teasing her in front of everyone. She was so bashful that she couldn't say anything. If you dare to tease big sister Chu Yao like this, I'll definitely attack you, said Lu Ruyan with extreme hostility. Long Chen looked her up and down and shook his head. You're still looking for a reason to avenge the grudge from back then? I say, why are you so petty? Women are petty. Did you not know that? Lu Ruyan snorted indifferently. This grudge had always been kept in the back of her mind. I don't know what power you've awakened, but no matter how strong you get, I can still suppress you, said Long Chen a bit irritably. It seemed that after getting stronger, her arrogance had also gone a bit out of control. To challenge him in front of the entire Dragonblood Legion was definitely a provocation. All right, if you were wrong, then you were wrong. Apologize to Ruian, interjected Chu Yao. I was wrong. 
Long Chen pointed at his nose in disbelief. When did Chu Yao become this unreasonable as well? Was this the same Chu Yao that he knew? Yes, you were wrong. Chu Yao giggled. Then tell me, how was I wrong? Demanded Long Chen Chu Yao's eyes crinkled with a crafty light, and she began to raise her fingers. First, as a man, you quibbled with a woman. Second, as a leader, you stooped to the level of your subordinates to argue. Third, as a mighty hero who has beaten countless enemies. You decided to fight against someone like Lu Ruian, who has been alone her entire life. She is like a child. You, someone who stands at the peak of the world, are essentially arguing with a child. Are you not embarrassed to do such a thing? Tell me, don't you think that this is wrong? I, Long Chen stared at her for a long time, unable to come up with a way to retort. His dumbfounded appearance elicited laughter from Meng Chi and the others Long Chen shook his head not knowing whether to laugh or cry. Fine, I was wrong. Now Long Chen understood why people said not to argue with women. The moment he tried, he lost. There was simply no way to talk reasonably with women. To try was very foolish. What made him feel most helpless though was that Chu Yao's words somehow seemed very reasonable. He wasn't even able to point out exactly what was wrong with them. Li Ruian's icy expression finally broke into a smile. She then clapped hands with Chu Yao to celebrate their victory. Everyone was startled by this smile. Having known Lu Ruian for so long, they didn't recall her ever smiling although she wasn't like Yi's Hikyu who was an embodiment of ice. She also gave off a feeling of keeping others away that smile was like a flower blooming. Although it was beautiful, it was gone in the next moment because she noticed everyone staring at her in shock. You actually know how to smile, asked Long Chen. This was inconceivable. Is it any of your business? Lu Ruian returned to her normal iciness. Long Chen shrugged. Chu Yao was correct that he shouldn't argue with a petty woman. Long Chen, when we get back, we can make our breakthrough to the realm above Nether Passage. At that time, we won't need to be afraid of anyone. Interjected Men Chi to break the awkward air the world above the mother tree had helped them a great deal. After having cultivated there, the heavenly Tao energy had corroborated their cultivation paths. As a result, their mental realms had advanced and already touched upon the next level. The mother tree's guidance allowed them to reach this level most likely even faster than the divine family's disciples. Once the dragon blood warriors advanced above Nether Passage, they really wouldn't need to fear anyone, not even the divine families. It probably won't be so easy. The realm above Nether Passage contains some kind of secret, or we would know its name at least. Furthermore, we'll have to deal with the various large powers on the continent when we return, especially the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Sea Demon Race, and the Zhao Family of the Divine Families. They won't let us advance easily. There might be a fierce battle coming up, said Long Chen. Long Chen had to give everyone a warning. Once they stepped out of the Starfield Divine World, if there was nothing unexpected, they would immediately be surrounded and attacked. Due to Jarishan, the Divine Families would not just sit still. They were clearly the ones who wanted to kill us. Were we supposed to just let them? Demanded Tang Wan Er. In this world, talking about reason is useless. Whoever is stronger is the one making the rules. Moreover, those rules are always used to restrict the weaker party while they themselves are unaffected. That's why simply enduring and submitting is definitely unacceptable. They've always forced us to the point that we have no other choice. So there will definitely be a fierce battle once we return to the Martial Heaven Continent. The laughable thing is that the Martial Heaven Continent currently stands on the brink of crisis. Yet we are still constantly fighting amongst ourselves. Long Chen's expression became contemptuous. People were always talking about uniting everyone about joining forces against shared enemies. Bullshit. The divine families came out to lead the battle, but in the end, they didn't even follow that. Feng Fei was constantly forcing others to bend to her will. While Jarishan had arrogantly killed countless innocent people Long Chen had realized that he could not work together with such people. Sooner or later, he would be played to death by their foolish rules originally. Long Chen had been hoping that the divine families weren't like this. They were so powerful and had to have complete inheritances and proper attitudes. Hence, they shouldn't be as chaotic as the Martial Heaven Alliance from back then. 
But after getting close with the divine families, he found that they were fundamentally no different therefore. Long Chen was no longer planning on working with the Long family. He could no longer see any hope in that and would rather face the invading races with his brothers. Even if they all died on the battlefield, he wouldn't wish to leave his fate to others during the next few days. Long Chen had everyone who had reached the full circle of Nether Passage rest and relax they could play, dance, sing, eat, drink, and even sleep. As a bonus, the Luo spirit race's warriors were all friendly with them. These days of peace were hard to imagine for the Martial Heaven Continent's cultivators no matter how carefree a cultivator was. They carried a mission from the day they were born. Their burden was to continue their family or sect's inheritance and bring forth future generations. There was nothing easy about living in the world. Easiness was faked for others to see, and the true bitterness was known only to the self. However, here, under the mother tree, the Luo spirit race's warriors were all pure hearted and simple. They had no schemes. Their warm emotions affected everyone from the martial heaven continent Long Chen and the others fell in love with this place, with some people wishing that they could stay here forever however, that was just a dream, it was impossible, they were not from this world, so once the door to the martial heaven continent closed, they would be automatically transported back calculating the time, they still had three months and this remaining time was precious to them they even began to compete in archery and shoot at flying leaves. After just a bit, the mother tree had become their paradise. That piece was exceptionally moving. Why aren't you playing with everyone? Long Chen carried a gourd of wine and plopped his butt down beside Yi Lingxian. Handing over a barbecued meat skewer Yi Lingxian smiled slightly and thanked him. She then took a bite. After that, Long Chen handed over a wine cup to her but she reddened and shook her head. I don't drink wine. Do you not drink wine? Or do you not drink my leftover wine? Asked Long Chen Yi Lingxian was embarrassed. Although she wasn't obsessed with cleanliness, she didn't want to drink from the gourd that Long Chen was drinking out of as for Long Chen. He was sharp, and had both noticed and directly exposed it. After that, Yi Lingxian glared at him. Actually, I like the skewer I just gave you. That's just a habit. I like first sucking away the oil before eating it. Long Chen, I'll kill you. Yi Lingxian shot up furiously. Although she didn't know if he was just joking or not, her stomach heaved. She then tossed the meat aside and reached out to grab Long Chen's neck. Chapter 2547 Yi Lingxian's Heart Devil Yi Lingxian lifted Long Chen up, but he didn't resist. He simply looked at Yi Lingxian with a smile that was not a smile noveloon.com My wives are all watching from a distance. Are you not afraid of their vengeance? Yi Lingxian glared at Long Chen. After a while, her eyes reddened slightly and she let go. Once more sitting down, she then lowered her head and lightly said, Thank you. Thank me for what asked Long Chen. Thank you for caring, said Yi Lingxian quietly. I know you came to talk to me and accompany me. I know many people care about me, but you are unable to walk out of that shadow. Long Chen sat down beside her. He then plucked a blade of grass and chewed on it. Looking at the clouds beneath the tree, he had an easy smile. Yes, Yi Lingxian nodded. Long Chen said, I thought that Dong Fang Yuyang's death would make you feel a bit better. But now that you've heard that Dong Fang Yuyang is still alive, your heart devil is growing stronger. Tears silently fell down Yi Lingxian's cheeks and dripped onto the grass, and her hands were tightly clenching her clothes. After that, she lowered her head, not letting Long Chen see her crying. That stubbornness was heart-wrenching Long Chen shook his head. It seems that you still haven't suffered enough setbacks in life. Even though your youth wasn't blessed, it wasn't enough. I should thank the people who constantly cast me under their shadow back in my youth. They made my heart unbreakable. Back then, I was just an ordinary little person, but even as failure, helplessness, anger, and despair nibbled at my heart like rats, they didn't leave behind any heart devils. That's because I was sure that a chance would come sooner or later. I worked harder than anyone every single day just waiting for those chances. I then firmly grasped those chances to save my fate. That's why old people say that it's best to make mistakes early on because while you're still young, when you fall, you cry, but after crying, you instinctively get back up. However, those that have never fallen don't know how to get back up after stumbling. 
It's as if the heavens are collapsing for them. If they could climb up, pat the dust off their butt, and look up at the sky, they would see that the sky's still blue, that the white clouds are still relaxed. Then forcing a foolish smile, they would realize that life is still very beautiful. Yi Lingxian's tears turned into laughter. She was embarrassed and vexed by Long Chen's teasing, so she reached out to pinch him, only to find that his skin was tough as dragon leather and impossible to pinch. How thick. No wonder you can say such shameless things, said Yi Lingxian irritably. Of course, if it wasn't for this thick skin, how could I have pursued so many wives that are as beautiful as heavenly feathers, said Long Chen. Shameless. Yi Lingxian cursed him. Only to find that the heaviness on her heart had lifted quite a bit she glanced at Long Chen, seeing him lying down while still chewing on the grass. He was staring at the clouds, and it was unknown what he was thinking. Hey, didn't you come to cheer me up? Why aren't you saying anything else? Yi Lingxian nudged him. Cheer you up? No. Even without me, with your ability, you would be able to walk out of this shadow on your own, said Long Chen. You have such faith in me. Asked Ji Lingxian, not just me, everyone from the Martial Heaven Alliance believes in you the same way. Moreover, the Alliance Head's sharp vision would not misjudge you. I came over because that girl Lu Ruyan is constantly vexing me, so I wanted to tease you and make myself feel better. Long Chen closed his eyes lazily. You have no sense of shame. Ji Lingxian snorted. This was far too shameless. This time, your assessment is on the mark. Long Chen smiled after a moment's hesitation. Yi Lingxian's face twisted slightly. She said, Long Chen, what do you want? Let me tell you, my wives are right there, so don't try anything improper. Long Chen shot up, staring at Yi Lingxian with a shocked expression. You really piss me off. Yi Lingxian clenched her teeth furiously and stood to walk away. He, it was just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. When did you become so petty? Long Chen hastily grabbed her and plastered a smile onto his face. You really are hateful. I don't know how those big sisters fell for you. If it was me, I'd have long since throttled you. Snorted Yi Lingxian at his wretched smile. That's why we're not the ones together, right? So what did you want to say just now? Asked Long Chen. It's nothing, said Yi Lingxian angrily. He, it's due to your heart devil. Yi Lingxian didn't reply. Long Chen knew Yi Lingxian's character, which was the only reason he was teasing her like this. He didn't expect her to react so strongly though. Actually, the matter of the heart devil is not necessarily a bad thing. It is like a mirror reflecting your weaknesses. The greater you fear something, the clearer it will be in the mirror. You will see things that you don't want to see, as a person cannot avoid looking into a mirror forever. Those who dare to look at their own weaknesses are those who can get stronger. When you're bored, you might consider thinking even more about Dong Fang Yuyang, said Long Chen. What would I think about him for? Demanded Yi Lingxian. If you don't, you won't have a chance to reflect on this heart devil. Once we leave the Starfield Divine World, I'll be hunting him down. I don't know if what I killed last time was a clone or substitute, but even before I knew he was still alive. I felt that I had left him off too easily. I didn't think that the heavens would treat me so well this time. They've given me another chance. And I'm going to cherish it. I won't let such a despicable person have a comfortable death. Said Long Chen last time. When he had killed Dong Fang Yuyang. His rage had not been quenched after killing him. Long Chen had never encountered such a shameless person. Dong Fang Yuyang had acted like an upright gentleman but was the exact opposite inside. Hence, killing him had not been satisfying enough thinking of how he could kill him again. Long Chen was full of anticipation. Killing him twice was definitely a more satisfying ending. But once we're out, the various powers, said Yi Lingxian, it doesn't matter who's there, I'll still kill him. They won't be so lucky, said Long Chen confidently. Dong Fang Yuyang was sinister and shameless. He was the most dangerous kind of enemy. Hence. He was number one on Long Chen's to kill list for some reason. After Long Chen had broken the cultivation rules of the nine star hegemon body art, his confidence began to grow. If it had to be described as something, then he would consider it absolute daring. Why do all thorns become so simple in your hands? Yi Lingxian smiled bitterly, she had been too ashamed to even ask for help. 
but now she felt so childish. Making her feel like needing to ask help from Long Chen for this tiny matter was embarrassing, but for some reason, she also felt that Long Chen gave off an extremely warm and reliable feeling, as if he could prop up the very heavens the so-called heart devil inside of her had started to fade away. However, Yi Lingxin even considered doing as Long Chen said and not letting it fade so quickly. She needed the bravery to face it. To make complicated things simple is my life's mission. Whether I do it correctly or not is a different matter though. Just making it simple is good. This is what the old man taught me, said Long Chen. Perhaps the old man's words are the only ones that can get through to you, laughed Yi Lingxin. That depends on whether or not he's right. If he's wrong. I would retort even if he tries to hit me. Speaking of which, there might be some good news once we return. Long Chen suddenly smiled. What good news? Why is your smile so sinister? Yi Lingxin covered her mouth. That smile of Long Chen's did not seem like it was good. The old man and the alliance head might very likely get married. Said Long Chen certainly what? No way. Why not? Their relationship has tied them together for a lifetime. The Alliance Head has sacrificed her best years for the Martial Heaven Alliance, while the old man is also a stubborn donkey and refuses to lower his head to her. The two of them care so much about each other but act like foes. Now, the two of them are finally getting along again, and they both intend to stay together. Once we return, the Alliance Head will be giving her position to you in full. She will be free. After that, I'm thinking that we should play matchmaker. You go advise the alliance head, and I'll advise the old man, said Long Chen. Giving advice is no problem, but both of them are stubborn and have their own pride. I'm not so sure it's a good idea, said Yi Lingxin after all. The two of them were of a certain age. Wouldn't having a wedding ceremony make others ridicule them? The two of them have done far more shameless things. Why would they be afraid of this? Are you telling the truth? Yi Lingxin was startled to hear that. Let's not discuss the matter of face. I'll handle the old man. He loves the alliance head so much that he would sacrifice his life for her. He would definitely feel bad if he didn't give her a grand ceremony. Both of them are heroes of the martial heaven continent as they gave up their youth to their responsibilities. The juniors like us must make things up to them, said Long Chen. Fine, I'll try it. But I don't know if I can convince her, said Yi Lingxin. Then we've decided. I'll handle the old man, and the alliance head will just have to take the donkey downhill, said Long Chen R. You cursing the old man laughed. Yi Lingxin after discussing this matter Yi, Lingxin felt much more relaxed. Her heart devil was cast aside, and she also joined Men Chi and the others up on the mother tree for fun time passed by quickly. One day, runes appeared over Long Chen and the others' bodies. A strange aura began to grow around them. Everyone, gather up shouted Long Chen. The day of their return to the Martial Heaven Continent had finally arrived. Chapter 2548 Leaving the Starfield Divine World Long Chen and the others became covered by a strange aura, and runes condensed around them. This was the call of the Martial Heaven Continent once the runes formed. The transportation would occur in six hours. After that, all those from the Martial Heaven Continent would be teleported out. However, that was only for the living the Dragonblood Legion, the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Xuan Beasts, the Mo family, the Nangong family, and the Bidang family's disciples were all gathered. We're finally leaving. It's too bad. I feel like I've fallen in love with this place. Sai Bidang Rushuang being with the Luo spirit race had allowed them to experience a different kind of life. They learned what it meant to live beneath the shade of a giant tree. Every day was happy and free here. They were actually living, but in the Martial Heaven continent, they were simply surviving. In a world filled with crisis, no one knew what terrible thing would happen the next day. Everyone was unwilling to leave like this, as this place was something they dreamed of having. They felt like they had barely managed to experience this blessing before they had to leave. On the other hand, the Dragonblood warriors were like sharpened blades overflowing with battle intent. They were filled with anticipation toward the new golden armor and their new swords as for the dragonblood warriors that had fallen in the last battle. Everyone still felt hatred for their loss. Once they returned, they would get vengeance for those fallen brothers. Even this peaceful and calm life had not erased the hatred in their hearts. 
A debt of blood had to be repaid with blood their desire for vengeance had not weakened. Now that they had advanced to the full circle of Nether Passage and were equipped with new armor and weapons, their desire for vengeance was ignited. They even felt that waiting another six hours was too long. Long Chen stood at the front, loudly shouting, Warriors from the Martial Heaven Continent, it is time for our return. Our peaceful lives have ended. What we are going to face will be an even worse battle. Since you are able to stand beside me during this time of crisis, I won't say any emotional words. I will simply remember them in my heart. During the last battle, over 300,000 of our brothers and sisters ended up having their bones buried in this foreign world. Their souls rest here. But I believe that before dying, their thoughts lay with their family. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air. His words were like hammers striking people's hearts. Upon thinking of those disciples that had fought to the death, everyone's eyes reddened. In the eyes of those heavenly geniuses, perhaps we are viewed as ants. But in the eyes of our fathers, our mothers, our families, we are their world. We are the greatest glory in their hearts. We dislike battle and killing because it only brings us pain. But some people with wild ambitions and secret schemes keep viewing us as chess pieces as pigs for the slaughter, as tools to profit from. Even now, when the Martial Heaven continent is on the brink of crisis, when we should all be uniting to fight against our common enemies, the reality is that while we wish to cooperate with them, they see us as fools. How can we cooperate with them? When the Battle of the Dark Era comes, who knows whether or not we will be sheep sent to the tiger's mouth. The Divine Families are powerful, but so what? We can see their attitudes from Feng Fei and Jarishan. We cannot entrust our lives to them. They are not worthy of our trust. Hence, we can only trust ourselves and rely on ourselves. By standing together with me, you are entrusting your lives to me. I, Long Chen, will not let any of you down. Starting today, we are a family. We will not beg others or make extravagant demands. We will not trust in fate or put our hopes in luck. We will use our own power to protect our family, to protect the Martial Heaven Continent, to face the battles of the Dark Era. We will walk our own path. Long Chen's voice crashed through the air in waves, filled with anger and sullenness. Having been disappointed by the Divine Families over and over again, he knew he could not count on them anymore. Yun Tian was a sovereign's son. If Yun Tian was willing to raise that banner, Long Chen would be willing to fully assist him, however. Yun Tian seemed to have many secrets, and perhaps he had his own mission. He didn't seem to join forces with the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. Long Chen didn't know what Yun Tian was thinking. However, he knew that these warriors in front of him had entrusted their lives to him. Some had even fought to the death for him. Therefore, he had to shoulder this burden despite being well aware of just how heavy this burden was. He knew that he wouldn't be a man if he didn't bear it. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, as long as it's with you, we will not frown even if we are climbing a mountain of blades or descending into a sea of fire. Although you aren't a sovereign son or a sovereign sprout, you're a hot-blooded man we can follow sincerely. We will walk through fire and offer our lives for you. You are the sovereign in our hearts. We fully trust you. Emotional roars rang out. Those who had come here were all on the level of geniuses. Even as they spat out these words. Not one person felt that they were sappy. Not one person felt that they were sucking up amongst these experts. There was a spiritual and bloody connection. They were fighting together for the same goal. They wouldn't regret it even if they had to die a hundred times. Long Chen's origin and experiences formed a resonance with them. They knew he had never submitted to anyone even those who hated him were unable to stain his character. Although he had plenty of enemies. No one could question that character this was Long Chen's specific charisma, something that had drawn over countless people and made them willing to sacrifice their lives for him. There was no deceit, only sincerity after that. Long Chen cupped his fists toward everyone, causing silence to fall once more. When we go out, I believe that various forces will have gathered, waiting for us. They still don't know what happened inside, but once we're out, the world will very likely flip on its head. Prepare yourselves. Once we're out, what awaits us is an unprecedented battle. Experts above Nether Passage might appear to suppress us. I'm not afraid. What's the worst thing that can happen? Death. I'd rather shatter as jade than survive as a brick. 
we'll fight together. Even if we can't beat the big ones, we can crush the small ones, since they don't care about the martial heaven continent safety or the big picture. Why should we have to concede to them? Kill one and you go even. Kill two and you've profited. Novaloon.com We can just all fight to the death. In the end, the martial heaven continent will be destroyed. We'll have just gone one step in advance. Anger soared amongst them. They knew that in this time of crisis, fighting amongst themselves was the most foolish thing. They didn't want to fight, but then their only option was to be killed. In the end, there were always some foolish people. They could only act stupid with them as there was no other option either act stupid or lose their lives. It was a simple choice. No one would choose the latter, but that was what infuriated them. They were fish caught in a trap with a bunch of fools which refused to work together to get out of the trap, forcing them to fight to the death with them. Things aren't as pessimistic as you imagine. As long as we are united, we still have hope. Sit. Stand. Stretch. Do whatever it takes to enter your best condition. Prepare for battle, said Long Chen. Yes, everyone immediately began to circulate their auras. They had to be ready to face battle at any moment. You're leaving so soon. It's regrettable. Ling Shi walked over. At the same time, the Luo spirit race's warriors came off of the mother tree. Watching as Long Chen and the others left every single person here was a benefactor to the Luo spirit race. Without them, the Luo spirit race would have lost their mother tree. If the mother tree died, then they wouldn't wish to live either they were very regretful about this. But Long Chen and the others were people from a different world. So they had to leave eventually. There is no banquet that never ends. The Luo spirit race is a kind race, so you should be blessed by the heavens to continue forever. As for us, our memories of you will never be forgotten. We experienced the most peaceful time of our lives here, and the mother tree's assistance has also increased our power. We are all truly grateful, said Long Chen. His words were sincere the ability to comprehend everything within the heavenly deos at the peak of the mother tree had truly benefited everyone immensely although Ling Shi didn't say anything. Long Chen knew that the mother tree had sacrificed a great deal of its source energy for them. Perhaps that source energy was what Ji Ming and the others had been planning on secretly dividing up amongst themselves the Luo spirit race had never owed Long Chen anything. If Li Qi hadn't risked herself to save him. Perhaps he would already be dead. Hence, he was the one benefiting from the Luo spirit race however. Due to paying back this debt of gratitude, he had ended up dragging in the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Bidang family, the Nangong family, and the others, implicating so many deaths. Long Chen was filled with shame over this it was due to this that Long Chen no longer wished to fight alone. He was willing to pick up this heavy burden and tie everyone's lives together Ling Shi smiled. We've consecrated you as our god. We will do as you wish. After saying that, Ling Shi pressed her forehead against Long Chen's, startling him. A sharp pain suddenly rang through his head, and a leaf-shaped rune was branded on his forehead after that. The rune quickly faded as if it had never been there at all. Ling Shi then pressed her right hand over her chest and bowed deeply toward Long Chen. The mother tree's life mark is now connected to you. Perhaps one day. Our Luo spirit race will have another chance to fight alongside you. Just at that moment, the runes around everyone's body rapidly grew. Long Chen didn't even get a chance to say goodbye when the void twisted, swallowing all of them. Everyone from the Martial Heaven continent vanished. Chapter 2549 Yilai Angchen One day ago, on the Martial Heaven continent, where the Central Plains Southern and Western Xuan regions met, space began to shudder. After that, a giant spatial door appeared in the air this door was closed shut, but rumbling spread from it along with a violent aura. The entire central plains could sense the terrifying world energy this was the ninth day since the disciples of the martial heaven continent had entered the starfield divine world. Although it was just nine days, those nine days had felt exceptionally long for them the various experts of the continent rushed over to the spatial door when it appeared. The martial heaven alliance, Pill Valley the corrupt path, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, all the seniors of the various powers gathered. HM? It seems there are fewer elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance now. Wait, check their auras. When Kujinying, the old man, Li Xiangxuan, 
and the other elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance appeared. The others were startled the others found that their auras had reached the fourth step of Nether Passage, but they had also lost a few familiar faces. It had to be known that at this time, all the elders would come out to welcome their disciples back. I heard that the Martial Heaven Alliance's elders used medicinal pills to forcibly attack the fourth step of Nether Passage. A portion of them died from it, whispered someone. How ruthless. Their lives had reached the limit, yet they still forcibly tried to break through. The odds of failure are way too high. HMPH. A group of foolish idiots. At least a bunch of them have died. While everyone else was just whispering, one person spoke loudly. It was clearly intentional. The Sea Demon Race. An army of millions of sea demons was flying over. They had intentionally summoned their true bodies, making them as big as mountains. They had three leaders in human form, and the one at the very front had a golden crown. It was an icy faced elder. Six golden horns were protruding through his crown. His eyes shone like lanterns, and divine light came out whenever they opened. This old man seemed to be one with heaven and earth, someone above Nether Passage. Everyone's heart shook. The sea demon race had actually sent out an expert above Nether Passage, and not just one. It seemed that the other two had reached the same level. The other two were bald, with their heads being exceptionally glossy. Moreover, they had tortoise shells on their backs and strange lines on their faces standing there. The two of them also seemed to be one with heaven and earth. It felt as if a look from them could destroy the world. They sent out three experts above Nether Passage at once. What is the sea demon race planning? Is this a display of power? The sea demon race was insulting the Martial Heaven Alliance so openly. They clearly hadn't come with good intentions. Courting death. The old man shouted furiously. The millions of righteous experts were just as angry as him after all. Those seniors of the Martial Heaven Alliance had bet their own lives in order to have some use on the battlefield in the future. Every one of them was a hero for the sea demon race to mock those fallen seniors instantly provoked them. They were far too arrogant. The particularly brainless kind of arrogant. Calm down. Hujin Ying grabbed the old man. The old man had also advanced to the fourth step. But he had relied on his own power to reach this level. Not medicinal pills having only recently advanced. His aura wasn't stable yet. So he was particularly easy to anger at this time. Nonetheless, the old man's temper had always been bad, so if it wasn't for Kujin Ying holding him back, he would have attacked just now. A group of ants. You'll be dying in the upcoming battles of the Dark Era. Your struggles are futile, said one of the bald elders with the tortoise shell on his back. The previous mocking had also come from him. The Martial Heaven Alliance is so lacking. They didn't even bring out a single person above Nether Passage. Throwing away the face of such a large power. The Martial Heaven Alliance has truly fallen. What? We're talking about you. Do you disagree? The other bald elder spoke up as well. The two of them looked identical. And even the way they spoke was the same. Fuck. Do you think that tortoise shell will protect you? Get your ass over here and I'll break that damn shell. Roared the old man. The bald elders smiled coldly. They were about to step forward when the elder with the golden crown snorted. What is there to fight about with the Nether Passage rookie? Don't lose face. The two bald elders stopped and glanced at the old man. Count yourself lucky, or you wouldn't even be qualified to see the Battle of the Dark Era. I don't mind telling you the truth. Our young master will obtain the Sea God's inheritance once making his breakthrough in the Starfield Divine World. Furthermore, once he breaks through to the 13th rank, his divine bone will awaken and he will be able to summon the true body of the sea god. At that time, all of you will be beneath him. Not one person will be a match for him. And even sovereign sprouts will only be green leaves compared to him. Perhaps most of you people will have a chance to surrender. But Long Chen will definitely be killed. Even a sovereign sprout will become a green leaf? What arrogant words. Are you not afraid of choking on such big words? Just at this moment. An icy voice rang out. That voice was surprisingly young in this place that was filled with seniors. However, despite being young, it created a resonance with heaven and earth startled. Everyone looked over to see a golden war chariot rushing over. It was like a golden shooting star. The war chariot's runes were shining, making it look like a blazing sun. It was too bright to look at directly when the runes of the war chariot slowly faded. 
they realized that there were tens of thousands of warriors on it, all adorned in silver armor. Every one of them was unleashing a heavy killing intent and a bloody air. This killing intent was not something that could be trained. It was the result of experiencing countless slaughters. From walking out of a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood there was a white-robed man standing at the front of the war chariot. Upon seeing him, everyone jumped he had a third vertical eye, but that eye was closed. However, just looking at it made people feel their goosebumps exploding. A sense of immense danger filled their hearts just standing there. Heavenly Tao energy whirled around him, as if wishing for him to use it. This was a shocking phenomenon where the heavenly deos were throwing themselves at him to use. This was something that the people here had never seen before. So what if he summons the sea god's true body? This place is the martial heaven continent, and a sovereign could suppress him with a wave of his hand. If you don't like it, then once your king comes out, I, Yi Liangchen, will be willing to give a display for you to understand, said the white-robed man, his hands clasped behind him. Even in the face of the elder with the golden crown, he didn't show the slightest emotion. HMPH, the sovereign sprout of the Yi family is quite arrogant. Right now, the heavenly deos are muddled, and a sovereign has yet to appear. Who knows whether or not a sovereign will even appear in this era. Youngsters shouldn't be so arrogant. My race is the sea god's descendants and we are fated to rise during this era. The will of the heavens cannot be disobeyed. If you say such big words you won't be able to take them back later. You will lose quite a bit of face then, said the crowned elder with a faint smile. It seemed that he already knew Yi Liangchen's status, but he didn't care. The six-horned sea serpent race's divine abilities can only show their full potential upon reaching the 13th rank. Fine, I'll give you a chance. When your so-called king reaches the 13th rank, I'll crush him. Yi Liangchen snorted. Foolish brat. Do you know who you're talking to? Demanded one of the bald elders after that. Yi Liangchen glanced at him. All of a sudden, his third eye opened and the void shuddered as a result. Blood spurted out of the bald elder's chest. At some point, a giant cut had appeared there. The bald elder then stared at Yi Liangchen in shock. A slave thinks he can talk here? If you dare to be noisy again, even if you have your master standing beside you, I'll still kill you, said Yi Liangchen. His third eye was already closed the bald elder was shocked and infuriated, but he didn't dare to speak everyone was stunned, not knowing what had happened. Yi Liangchen had simply opened his third eye, he hadn't even moved, but it was as if the bald elder had been struck by a sword that elder was in existence above nether passage. Considering that he came from a tortoise race, his defensive power must be astounding, hence. The fact that he was silently injured was horrifying Yi Liangchen was clearly in the nether passage realm, but he was able to injure the bald elder easily the old man, Kujinying, and the others were stunned. Yi Liangchen seemed even more terrifying than Feng Fei. Why didn't such a figure enter the starfield divine world? Was it because he felt it wasn't worth it? Youngster, don't be too arrogant. If it wasn't due to your youth, I wouldn't be so courteous said the crowned elder angrily do, to my youth, please, it's because of the divine families, isn't it, take care of your dog and tell it not to make noise when its master is conversing, otherwise, it will lose you face, sneered Yi Liangchen after that, Yi Liangchen didn't give him a chance to respond, he already turned his gaze to Kujinying, I hear that the martial heaven continent has a little fellow who is so arrogant as to not place even the divine families in his eyes? The reason I deigned to descend here was to suppress him. I'm saying this so you're mentally prepared. Kujinying was shocked, as well as enraged. This expert had actually come to suppress Long Chen? The divine families had truly gone too far. Yi Liangchen, if you're going to say that, then you're not giving me, Long Aotian, any face. An arrogant voice rang out along with a thunderous roar. After that, they could see a giant beast flying through the air. Chapter 2550 Long Aoceana Giant Leopard with glossy black fur came rushing over like a bolt of black lightning with its final leap. It roared and a violent sound wave shook the void. The leopard was carrying a chariot made out of immortal gold, and the chariot was so big that it was like an entire palace. Tens of thousands of white-robed young experts were standing on top of it, all of them wearing swords on their belts after the chariot stopped. 
Four beautiful white-robed maidens opened the door, and a man walked out this tall, thin man had black shoulder-length hair. He was extremely handsome with bright eyes and sharp eyebrows. His white robes were untouched by dust. A three-foot-wide ring of light was behind his head, and there seemed to be the sun, moon, and stars revolving within the ring. Divine light enveloped him, making him seem like a divine king as soon as he arrived. Everyone clearly felt heavenly Tao energy rush toward him, as if prostrating to him. It was like a look from him could control the Dao. This person's chariot also had the marking of the divine families. In other words, Another terrifying sovereign sprout had just appeared amongst the divine families. Long A Ocean. Why should I give you face? Have you forgotten that it was that fellow called Long Chen who didn't give us any face when we underwent our tribulations in the immemorial path? Fortunately, the head intervened in time, sending us to another world to complete our tribulations. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I've already investigated and know that this Long Chen is the same Long Chen from back then. Are you telling me that the always arrogant Long A Ocean is going to forget about this just to accept a loyal dog? Perhaps you can forget it, but I, Yi Liang Chen, cannot. If you don't like it, why don't we make a bet right now? We can bet whether or not I can kill him once he comes out, said Yi Liang Chen, just as arrogantly as before Long A Ocean frowned. Yi Liang Chen, the times have changed. The Martial Heaven Continent requires everyone useful to unite. Hence, any past grievances can be settled after the Dark Era. Fighting amongst ourselves will only make us lose face. Ha ha ha. Give it up. Lose face? Do you think my Yi family is stupid? Your Long family doesn't give a damn about Long Chen's potential. You just want his secrets. You want to know how he raised a group of trash into elites. Is talking so sanctimoniously interesting? Who do you think you can trick? Yi Liangchen laughed contemptuously. Everyone present realized that Yi Liangchen came from the divine family's Yi family, while Long Aotian came from the divine family's Long family. It was rumored that the two families had some conflicts between them. It was no wonder the two of them would immediately act so hostile to each other. However, Yi Liangchen's words were truly sharp. He didn't give the Long family any face. Directly saying that the Long family's care for Long Chen was just a trap just as they were clashing. More experts arrived. All the large figures of the Martial Heaven continent had gathered. So Yi Liang Chen's words caused quite a bit of private discussion after all. His words were extremely reasonable. There were many things that didn't make sense about Long Chen's rise. He had been trash at cultivation but had suddenly soared. The most inexplicable thing was that he had raised a group of trash along with him turning a group of unremarkable people into the world. Shocking Dragonblood Legion anyone with the slightest brains would know that Long Chen definitely had some secrets. However, as his position rose, people gave up on finding out. No one had the guts to go after him however. Now that Yi Liang Chen mentioned it, everyone's heart shook. Although the divine families were supreme existences, whether or not the Long family was intent on learning Long Chen's secrets was truly unknown. Quite a few people felt some respect for how sharp Yi Liang Chen's words were. Just like that, he managed to create some conflict between Long Chen and the Long family. Long A Ocean's gaze turned colder. Yi Liang Chen, don't judge the heart of a noble with the character of a petty little man. Me, a petty little man? Ha ha ha. If your Long family really was a noble, back then, your Long family wouldn't have shut up. Long A Ocean's shout was like thunder shaking everyone's ears and soul. After that, they involuntarily quivered. That voice was like the furious order of a god. What a terrifying will. People were horrified as this shout contained violent pressure. In that instant, they had lost their connection to heavenly Tao energy. It seemed as if a shout from Long A Ocean could strip their heavenly Tao energy away. That stunned everyone. What kind of power was this? Without heavenly Tao energy, how could anyone fight? He truly is worthy of being a sovereign sprout. He has started merging with the heavenly Deos at the great circle of Nether Passage. He's essentially half a step into that realm. The speaker was the most senior of all the elders on the martial heaven continent. She was Deoist heavenly feather of the divine ice palace. No one knew her true age. All they knew was that everyone in her generation had died Daoist Heavenly Feather always maintained the appearance of someone in her twenties, making countless women envious. 
She was the only one capable of maintaining their cultivation base and looks forever in the cultivation world. There were plenty of old men but few old women. Many women were afraid of aging, so they sacrificed a great deal of their longevity to maintain their youthful looks. Once their longevity was exhausted, they would rather die beautiful hands. Daoist Heavenly Feather was an extremely mysterious existence on the Martial Heaven continent. Therefore, she instantly drew everyone's attention when she spoke. Senior, just what is the realm above Nether Passage? Why can't it be mentioned? Asked someone. Many people's expressions changed when that person asked the question. He was an elder whose cultivation base had reached the third step of Nether Passage. But even then, his sect leader immediately dragged him back, chided him, and apologized to Daoist Heavenly Feather. Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled slightly. It cannot be said. It is because the next realm relates to the heavens. Speaking of it will draw karma. Within every generation, the first to say that name will have karma target them, and they will very likely die immediately. This can be considered a warning by the heavenly deos. If you don't mind me making a presumptuous guess, I'd say it is because the heavenly deos are not happy with those who speak of this realm. Those who draw the ire of the heavenly deos all have bad ends. Wasn't Heavenly Fate Island destroyed because of this as well? They were only able to divine the tiniest hairs of fate. Moreover, they were only able to divine man but not the Heavenly Deos. If they had tried to divine the nature of the Heavenly Deos, they would have long since been destroyed. This karma is why so many people know the name of this realm, but refuse to tell their disciples. It will draw karma to both the speaker and the hearer. Unless, unless what everyone hastily asked. Unless there is someone who guesses the name of this realm. By voicing this fate secret, this name will no longer be taboo. However, the one to say it will definitely be in trouble and targeted by the heavens. That is why the senior generation warns the juniors not to wildly guess. If they do guess correctly, it won't be good for them. Said Daoist Heavenly Feather everyone came to a sudden comprehension. No wonder they were always sternly chided when they asked their seniors about this. No, that doesn't make sense either. If it can't be talked about, why do so many people know it? Because amongst the senior generations, there have been some unlucky fellows to shout it out. Those people died but benefited everyone else. That's why the people in those generations know the name, but they cannot say it, sighed an extremely old man with a cane. I wonder which unlucky bastard it's going to be this time. It was unknown who mumbled this everyone looked at each other. It seemed that this secret was going to be exposed soon. The Martial Heaven continent had entered its most flourishing age, and the geniuses were preparing to attack the next realm. Once they did, there would definitely be someone to accidentally shout it for everyone else. Long Aeotian, don't talk down to me. In our 37 battles, we've never managed to decide a winner. Do you think a bigger throat can scare me off? In reply to Long Aeotian's roar, Yi Liangchen merely sneered, but he did not mention that topic again. Yi Liangchen, with me here, you can't kill Long Chen. The divine families will also not permit you to do so. If you just want to humiliate him a bit, perhaps the divine families won't care, but you'll have to face a strict punishment if you kill him, warned Long Aeotian. It's just a dog. So what if I kill him? Do you think the divine families will take my life just because of a dog? Today, I'm going to kill Long Chen. We'll see who can stop me. We can make a bet if you want, said Yi Liangchen lightly just at this moment. Another war chariot came rumbling over. Upon seeing it, Yi Liangchen snickered. Jiang Wachen has come as well. Now, everyone who had to suffer that tribulation has come. Let's see how you stop both of us. Chapter 2551 Enemies Arrive World Gate opens a group of armored experts walked off of the chariot. There were still some blood stains on their armor, and dense killing intent soared out of them. It seemed that they had just come from a battlefield those warriors were escorting a large man with long facial hair. He was extremely tall, like a small giant it was like he was a monster in human form. A strong scent of blood came from him, and he had a giant hatchet on his back. As he walked across the void, the void shuddered. Looks like I came in time. Let me see just how many heads that brat who conned me back then has. I wonder if there's enough for me to cut them all down. 
snorted the large man he wasn't intentionally speaking loudly, but every one of his words exploded through the air like thunder, another sovereign sprout, every expert stared in shock, the divine families actually had three more sovereign sprouts other than Feng Fei, Feng Fei is from the Jiang family, while this guy is also surnamed Jiang, did the Jiang family produce two sovereign sprouts, I hear the divine families are the Jiang, Long, Yi, and Zhao families. The Zhao family also has a sovereign sprout named Jarishan. It's said that he controls metal energy and possesses an undying body. I wonder if he'll come as well, said someone with a certain understanding of the divine families. The martial heaven continent side was still unaware that Jarishan had secretly entered the starfield divine world as well. He had already been toyed with by Guo Ran Zhang Wachen came in so ferociously with blood still staining his body. However, the words between the three of them puzzled everyone they kept mentioning how Long Chen had made them suffer. But how was that possible? The divine families were supreme existences. They essentially ignored the matters of the martial heaven continent. The sovereign sprouts in particular were special existences amongst the divine families. They were geniuses amongst geniuses. How had they ended up interacting with Long Chen? Everyone stared at each other. They could only conclude that Long Chen was truly a monster. He had made all these sovereign sprouts suffer. Even Ku Jinying, the old man, and the others were dumbfounded. They had never heard Long Chen mention this matter before. Did he actually have such illustrious combat achievements? Jiang Wachen, the four of us were conned by that brat back then. Now we can finally get our revenge. But it seems that someone wants to shamelessly accept that dog and is willing to go against us because of it. What do you think about that? Yi Liangchen asked Jiang Wachen. Jiang Wachen then looked at Long Aotian. Long Aotian, I have no enmity with you. Our relationship can be considered decent, but I can't give you face over this matter. He humiliated us and must pay the price. I can let him off alive, but he must kowtow three times. Then I can spare his life. Do you know what the Lord Venerate wants? Said Long Aotian coldly. Don't try to use the Lord Venerate to suppress us. I came from resentful death city straight here. No one gave me any information about that. Nor do I need any. Today, I'm going to make that arrogant fellow pay the price for his arrogance back then. Said Jiang Wachen. the three sovereign sprouts stood in the sky. Facing each other in a triangle formation. All three of them had brought tens of thousands of subordinates. They were staring coldly at each other. The atmosphere grew increasingly tense. Ha ha ha. This time. Long Chen's definitely dead. No one can protect him. Alliance head Gu, all your plans are going to come to an end. The head of the ancient family alliance, Di Long, smiled sinisterly, intentionally provoking Ku Jinying. If the martial heaven alliance doesn't have Long Chen, it will immediately scatter like smoke in the wind. As for the righteous path, HMPH, sooner or later they're going to be ruled by the corrupt path. Said Zi Wentian with a cruel light in his eyes. Long Chen had been a thorn in the corrupt path's side. Ever since his rise, he had dealt countless setbacks to the corrupt path. He was like their bane, causing them to lose endless face. Don't get excited too early. Suddenly, the crowned elder of the sea demon race spoke up. The Zhao family's sovereign sprout entered the starfield divine world with Feng Fei, while my race's young prince has awakened the sea god's weapon. Since both parties hate Long Chen, he might not even come out of the Starfield Divine World alive. Moreover, Zi Wentian, you were pretty sinister. You actually sent the seventh generation corrupt god's reincarnation in without exposing the slightest clue. Isn't that to act like a pig to devour the tiger? You're the one who's most clear on whether or not Long Chen will be coming out alive. Am I right? Why are you acting so fake now? The seventh generation corrupt god's reincarnation. The righteous path's experts jumped. They suddenly thought of a mysterious person that had been by Tian Zizi's side. Zi Wentian twitched. He snorted. The sea demon race's mouths are quite big. Zi Wentian was startled to find that this secret had been leaked. According to what he knew, only the divine families should possibly be aware of it. However, this person had still exposed it. That meant that they had to have a collaboration with the Divine Families. And the Divine Families had leaked this secret to them as for saying his mouth was big. He was mocking him for not knowing how to keep secrets. To put it frankly, 
He was calling him an idiot. Pujin Ying's face turned pale. This Starfield Divine World was clearly a trap then. If so many people were targeting Long Chen, he must have faced many tribulations. Don't worry. So what if their sovereign sprouts? So what if he's a reincarnation of a corrupt god? Long Chen definitely isn't inferior to any of them. Comforted the old man even though that was what he said. The old man was also nervous. This time, the enemies were truly terrifying. Fuck. Why hasn't the heaven-splitting divine tablet come back? With it, I could slaughter these bastards. The old man eyed these fellows furiously. You don't need to worry. Long Chen will be fine. I trust him, said Daoist Heavenly Feather suddenly although Daoist Heavenly Feather had always stood in the neutral position. She always maintained a certain care for the Martial Heaven Alliance. Are you not afraid that you've made a misjudgment? Suddenly, an indifferent voice rang out startled at this rudeness to Daoist Heavenly Feather. Everyone looked over to see that the speaker was the head of the Dongfang family the Dongfang, Zeman, Nangong, and Bidang families were already here. While the first two were in their own isolated areas, the Bidang and Nangong families were banded together. Due to Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang, the two families had ended up particularly close for the Dongfang family head to suddenly speak here. The other three family heads were all startled. Their impression of the Dongfang family head was that he was always cautious and crafty. Why would he suddenly target Daoist Heavenly Feather? Did he take the wrong medicine this morning? You dare to question Daoist Heavenly Feather. When Daoist Heavenly Feather swept through the continent, your great granddaddy was still playing in the mud. Daoist Heavenly Feather is the leader of the entire cultivation world. Are you trying to challenge her? Quite a few people began to curse at the Dongfang family head. Daoist Heavenly Feather was revered by countless people, and she was viewed as practically a history book. Her knowledge could not be questioned. Hence, Many people amongst the neutral faction glared at him. Haha, <laughs> it doesn't seem that I said anything wrong. Is it wrong to question such a statement? The Dongfang family had smiled indifferently just as everyone was going to continue cursing him. Daoist Heavenly Feather said, To tell the truth, everyone says that an old person's vision will grow blurry. It truly is easy to make misjudgments. But despite that, I can say that my eyes can still see very clearly. For example, I can see the heaven Caesar of your family that takes other people's inheritances. What? Everyone was shocked by this. A heaven Caesar? Wasn't that an existence that was not permitted on the martial heaven continent? If anyone dared to raise a heaven Caesar, they would immediately be wiped out by the rest of the powers of the continent. The Dongfang family was raising a heaven Caesar? Could it be? Everyone immediately thought of Dongfang Yuyang. What nonsense are you spouting? Don't think that just because of your seniority you can slander others. The Dongfang family head's expression changed, and he pointed and shouted at Daoist Heavenly Feather his heart was pounding wildly. Despite him trying to calm down, the gaze of countless experts applied immense psychological pressure on him. He began to panic. Why are you so nervous? If you are afraid of this secret being exposed, you should have kept quiet and not targeted me. Even though I've spoken now. I have no proof. Furthermore, you have the support of the divine families. What are you afraid of? Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head. This is slander, raged the Dongfang family head. If you say it's slander, then it's slander. Everyone, you can just treat it as a joke, said Daoist Heavenly Feather treat it as a joke? No one was capable of that. Heaven Caesars were a nightmare to deal with. They should not exist in this world with Daoist Heavenly Feather's status. How could she possibly make such a joke? Everyone stared at the Dongfang family head vigilantly. The Dongfang family is under the protection of the Yi family. What? Do you not like it? The words on their side had ended up disturbing the three sovereign sprouts. Yi Liangchen then turned to glare at Daoist Heavenly Feather arrogantly. How could I not like it? The future belongs to you youngsters. An old woman like me has no choice but to accept it said Daoist Heavenly Feather with a light smile. Although she didn't show the slightest displeasure, countless people were infuriated on her behalf suddenly. The spatial door began to shudder. As it slowly opened, balls of light appeared. It was possible to see figures within those balls of light. They've come out. Everyone immediately tensed and stopped breathing. 
staring intently at those balls of light. Chapter 2552 Absolute Power Suppression Balls of Light appeared, looking like stars in the sky. Those were the disciples that were leaving the star field divine world. At this time, it was impossible to see who was who within that light. However, everyone was searching for the auras that they were most familiar with. What? The arrogant sea demons' expressions fell. They could only sense the auras of a few sea demons however. The worst thing was that they didn't sense the existence of the prince of the six-horned sea serpent race as the crowned elder of the sea demon race was also from the six-horned sea serpent race. He began to grow uneasy the sea demon race was not the only ones whose expressions fell. There was also the corrupt path. At this moment, Zi Wentian and the others could sense no more than a thousand corrupt disciples amongst those balls of light. Where had the corrupt path's army of hundreds of thousands gone furthermore? Tian Zizi's aura was not present. The only thing that made Zi Wentian feel slightly better was that Ji Ming's aura was still there meanwhile. Di Long turned pale. He no longer had his dignified appearance of having victory in grasp. He couldn't find Di Feng's aura only the Martial Heaven Alliance. Bidang family. Nangong family, Mo family, Xuan beasts, and some neutral powers gradually smiled. They could sense the majority of those familiar auras. They relaxed ever so slightly however, those balls of light were still shining brightly. They could only barely sense auras but not see their appearances. Long Chen, Ling Shen, and the others are all alive. He, I told you that they'd be fine, laughed the old man. Look at the corrupt path, see demon race and ancient family alliance. It seems that they aren't too happy. Li Xiangxuan smiled slightly. He had the most confidence in Long Chen hearing him. The others looked over to see that those people's expressions were truly ugly. Could it be? Suddenly, one ball of light shot out like a shooting star at another. Even before leaving the balls of light, whoever was inside was attacking boom the other ball of light exploded and a wretched figure appeared. Flying back. Dongfang Yuyang, the one inside the ball of light was the Dongfang family's peak genius. He appeared panicked and hastily fled boom the other ball of light that had attacked him exploded, revealing Long Chen. Last time, I let you off too easily by killing you. Thank you for giving me another chance. Lightning wings spread on Long Chen's back, and his figure vanished, reappearing in front of Dongfang Yuyang. His speed was shocking on the martial heaven continent. With the familiar laws and space, his speed increased. It was because Lai Long had been impacted by the star field divine world. Long Chen, you killed Di Feng and the young king of the sea demon race, suppressed Jarishan, and almost wiped out the sea demon race and the corrupt path's disciples. Do you think you can leave this place alive? Roared Dongfang Yuyang. What? This roar from Dongfang Yuyang was transmitted into the ears of every single person present, shocking everyone. Was this really true the Dongfang family, sea demon race, and the corrupt path's expressions all changed? Furthermore, the three sovereign sprouts of the divine families were startled. Jarishan had been suppressed. You won't get to see whether or not I live, sneered Long Chen. He knew that Dongfang Yuyang was trying to get everyone to attack him, so that Dongfang Yuyang would have a chance to slip away however, Long Chen didn't care. His astral space is shuddered with a terrifying power. Upon entering the twelfth heaven stage of Nether Passage, Long Chen learned how to focus all his power into one spot as fist howled through the air and seemed covered by countless stars. Even heaven and earth were suppressed by this fist. There was nowhere to run. I'll go all out against you. Dongfang Yuyang roared, and his manifestation burst into existence. Shocking everyone. Isn't that Shai Lingfeng's manifestation? The Stone Emperor's Manifestation, there's also the Blood Emperor's Manifestation and the Peng Emperor's Manifestation. Heavens, how can he possess so many manifestations? Everyone was stunned. Shai Lingfeng, Kung Pengzi, and Xu Aluich's manifestations had been seen by many people before. Those were the manifestations of emperors. After just one look, it was impossible to forget them for Dongfang Yuyang to summon three emperor manifestations at once. They immediately thought of Daoist Heavenly Feather's words. He really is a heaven Caesar. Furious roars rang out. People glared at the Dongfang family head. Killing intent blazing within them boom the void erupted as though a sun had exploded. 
Long Chen's fist then smashed into Dong Fang Yuyang's sword, which instantly exploded along with the three emperor manifestations. After that, Dong Fang Yuyang hacked up blood. What? Just now, they had sensed the auras of the Peng Emperor, Stone Emperor, and the Blood Emperor on Dong Fang Yuyang's sword. That meant even with the power of three emperors concentrated into his sword, he was unable to beat Long Chen's simple punch. Long Chen is far more terrifying than before the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were all amazed. Just what had happened to Long Chen inside of the Starfield Divine World for him to have such a transformation what he was facing was a Heaven Caesar, a forbidden existence. The latter had concentrated the power of three emperors but was still unable to receive a single attack from Long Chen. Hence, everyone was dumbfounded. Was the power of a Heaven Caesar not as great as they had expected furthermore? From their previous words, it seemed that Long Chen had killed Dong Fang Yuyang once, but it seemed to have been a clone Dong Fang Yuyang hastily retreated as he hacked up blood. However, Long Chen's hand reached out like a sharp claw, grabbing Dong Fang Yuyang's fist and pulling as a result. Dong Fang Yuyang shrieked. His arm was torn off. Dong Fang Yuyang, you can only hide behind your sinister schemes. When it comes to true power, you're dog shit. Your word is worth even less than dog shit. Did a little despicable person like you rely on these little schemes to become an expert? You must have been dreaming. Real experts are created through true power. To use the old man's words, in front of absolute power, all schemes are meaningless. Long Chen sneered and waved his hand. The torn off arm then exploded and Long Chen moved toward Dong Fang Yuyang once again. He, that's just what I said. At least he remembered those words. The old man smiled, pleased. Having lost an arm, Dong Fang Yuyang flew back, trying to reach the other experts of the Dong Fang family. He begged for assistance, those Dong Fang family experts also charged over to save him. However, space shuddered, revealing a blue barrier around the spatial door, separating Dong Fang Yuyang from the other experts of the Dong Fang family. The world wall is still present, it is impossible to enter that space. The world gate was still slowly closing. Only once it was fully closed would that space be opened. Hence, Dong Fang Yuyang was knocked back by the world wall, allowing Long Chen to grab his other arm and tear it off. Long Chen then kicked Dong Fang Yuyang's abdomen, sending him flying and causing his abdomen to cave in. More blood was hacked out. As a heaven Caesar, you should have endured until you had reached the point of controlling this world. In terms of martial power, you aren't my match. In terms of intelligence, you're an idiot. Other than managing to reach new levels of despicableness, you are nothing. The other arm in Long Chen's hand also exploded. After that, he began advancing toward Dong Fang Yuyang step by step. Dong Fang Yuyang continued to hack up blood. Both his arms had been torn off, and blood had turned his white robe scarlet. His handsome face was now twisted in bitterness and fear. He clenched his teeth. In the Starfield Divine World, he had had a fortuitous encounter that allowed him to create a substitute with the exact same power as the true body. Such a substitute was exceedingly rare. Hence, he hadn't expected that this substitute would actually be destroyed by Long Chen at that time. He had been traumatized. It was fortunate that it had been his substitute and not his true body, or he would already be dead. The power that Long Chen had displayed terrified him during this entire time. He had been hiding in the Starfield Divine World, not even daring to go searching for treasures he had thought that now that he had left the Starfield Divine World, he would be safe. However, he hadn't expected Long Chen to take advantage of this moment when the world wall had yet to fade to attack him. Long Chen's attacks contained terrifying power that suppressed the heavenly Deos and Dong Fang Yuyang's core energy. Hence, he couldn't heal. Having lost both his arms, he appeared incredibly minuscule to the domineering Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen walk toward him like a death god, he was lost in terror. Feng Fei, Yi Ming, Pil Fairy, come save me. We are allies. Not one ball of light responded to him. You can shout until you break your throat. Those balls of light contain the final blessing of the Starfield Divine World. Other than me, no one else is willing to give up that blessing to look after you, sneered Long Chen. He stepped toward Dong Fang Yuyang outside the world wall. The Dong Fang family had began to beg Yi Liangchen to intervene. After all, 
the Dongfang family had cast their lot toward the Yi family, becoming their subordinates. Yi Liangchen then frowned and suddenly shouted, Long Chen, release Dongfang Yuiang, and I can give you a chance to live. Boom Dongfang Yuiang's body exploded, carrying his head. Long Chen turned to look at Yi Liangchen, from which rat bastard hole did you climb out of? My mood's not very good. So don't try to court death today. Chapter 2553 Fearless Long Chen looked through the world wall at the icy, arrogant man who had said such a stupid thing to him. Long Chen didn't know who he was, but just looking at him made his anger flare for some reason. Whether it was his expression, his voice, or his movements, they all contained a hateful flavor to them if he encountered such a person normally. He would simply ignore them, but with his rage burning so strongly, he naturally wasn't courteous as Long Chen's cultivation base rose. His control over his temper got worse and worse. Despite completely suppressing Dong Fang Yuiang, essentially venting his anger, his rage only got worse. At this moment, the scenes of the battle in front of the mother tree reappeared in his mind. He saw Dong Fang Yuiang threatening him with Yi Lingxian. That sinister smile of his was clear in his mind Long Chen had an urge to make Dong Fang Yuiang have a hundred lives so he could kill them one by one. That was the only way to release his anger in reply to Yi Liang Chen's threat. Long Chen directly showed him Dong Fang Yuiang's head. Save me, shouted Dong Fang Yuiang. This was no substitute but his true body. Hence, he was filled with terror. He had never thought that such a day would come for him now he was testing something new and he was even more afraid of death than ordinary disciples. His voice was filled with a sobbing tone Navalun calm that made the other experts look down on him even more. This was a peerless heavenly genius? A heaven Caesar? In front of death, he became a coward. Even an ordinary disciple wouldn't act like this no one knew what kind of troubles Dong Fang Yuiang had created in the Starfield Divine World. But for Long Chen to hate him so much, he definitely hadn't done anything good since he dared to do those things. He had to accept the consequences. Now, he was in Long Chen's hands, shouting and wailing. Rather than resolving his predicament, it only made him a laughing stock before his death the day a person stepped onto the cultivation path. They had to face death. Even ordinary disciples understood this. However, Dong Fang Yuiang was actually such a coward on the other hand. Long Chen didn't show any courtesy even to a sovereign sprout of the divine families. This was what being domineering meant. Long Chen didn't show the slightest fear against anyone Yi Liang Chen shouted. Brat, you're the one courting death. Don't think that a hostage will protect you. Let me tell you, you were the one who blasphemed us back in the immemorial path. I, Yi Liang Chen, have 10,000 ways to make you live a life worse than death. If you understand. Then hurry up and so it was you. Long Chen suddenly realized why his voice was so familiar back then. When Yu Xiaokian had been undergoing her tribulation in the immemorial path, the very heavens had been torn open, and four dislikable fellows had appeared to undergo their own tribulations, implicating Yu Xiaokian and almost getting her killed at that time. Long Chen had asked them to slow down. But the four of them had been exceedingly arrogant and hadn't cared about Yu Xiaokian's life or death. Hence, Long Chen was enraged by that as soon as Yu Xiaokian had passed her tribulation. Seeing her bloody state, Long Chen had directly started his own tribulation, even attacking his tribulation to strengthen it that had caused the four of them to fail their tribulation, and they had fled. Even after so many years, Long Chen hadn't forgotten about it when he had seen Jarishan those memories had been triggered. Amongst those four, it was Yi Liangchen who had given him the deepest impression in this world. The only one whose voice could make Long Chen want to slap them to death was probably Yi Liangchen seeing Long Chen's sudden realization. All the experts were speechless. Just what kind of monster was he? After creating such a deep grudge with someone, he had actually forgotten about them when Long Chen was in the immemorial path. He was nothing more than a cultivation rookie. However, he had actually managed to offend four sovereign sprouts in that state. That kind of ability was truly amazing at this moment. The world gate slowly closed. The void shuddered and creaked. While countless cracks appeared in the sky those balls of light also grew brighter, making the indistinct figures appear clearer, revealing their true appearances now. Yi Liangchen was furious. 
His family had told him that they had found him a powerful subordinate. It was a heaven Caesar as long as Dong Fang Yuyang was willing to make a spiritual contract with him. Dong Fang Yuyang would become his eternal follower. The reason the Dong Fang family had done this was because they had no choice. The Yi family head had personally come to them if the Dong Fang family had refused. The Yi family would have wiped them out. All the Yi family would have needed to do was announce Dong Fang Yuyang's status. And then the Dong Fang family would be wiped out overnight. The only reason they hadn't done the spiritual contract earlier was because Dong Fang Yuyang had entered the Starfield Divine World. While Yi Liangchen hadn't been on the Martial Heaven continent before, they had to wait until Dong Fang Yuyang returned to make the contract. However, the contract that they had discussed was double sided. Dong Fang Yuyang had to be loyal to Yi Liangchen and never betray him. But Yi Liangchen was also bound. If Dong Fang Yuyang died, his soul would receive a heavy blow. It was only due to the second condition that the Dong Fang family was willing to make Dong Fang Yuyang Yi Liangchen's subordinate. This would link the two families together, so it was a good thing for them as for the existence of a heaven Caesar, even to the Yi family. It was extremely shocking. A random investigation had somehow noticed some oddities about Dong Fang Yuyang, and a deeper investigation had revealed this shocking secret if a heaven Caesar could be raised, they would definitely become a terrifying existence. That was why the Yi family would directly come to force the Dong Fang family to submit. Yi Liangchen had been looking forward to this new subordinate. As an expert, having another supreme expert as a subordinate was a kind of glory. It was even better than having a powerful mount. That was why Yi Liangchen had sincerely wanted to protect Dong Fang Yuyang. But Long Chen didn't care about that. Long Chen, don't misunderstand. Releasing him is your only chance of living. Once the world wall fades away, you will have a miserable death, said Yi Liangchen sinisterly. What an idiot. If you know that I'm Long Chen, why would you threaten me? Long Chen sneered. He sent Dong Fang Yuyang's head flying toward one of the balls of light. Ling Shen, here you go. That ball of light had turned dim, revealing Yi Ling Shen. Her eyes flew open after that. Yi Ling Shen's sword came flying out of its sheath. Cold light slashed down. No. Regretfully, with just his head and his power suppressed by Long Chen, Dong Fang Yuyang could only watch as Yi Ling Shen's sword fell upon him. His head then exploded, with even his Yuan spirit being wiped out of existence. Yuyang, the Dong Fang family had let out a heart wrenching cry. Dong Fang Yuyang had died. Yi Ling Shen's sword had exterminated all hope for the Dong Fang family boom at this moment. The world gate finally slammed shut. The balls of light around everyone opened, and the world wall faded. Long Chen, I told you that I would make you live a life worse than death. Yi Liangchen roared. His third eye suddenly opened everyone instantly thought of the tortoise elder of the sea demon race who had been injured by this bizarre attack suddenly. Long Chen unleashed a punch, and countless stars enveloped his fist. It was the same fist that had broken Dong Fang Yuyang's defenses while at first it seemed like he was striking nothing but air. When his punch reached its end, they saw a sharp blade filled with stars appear and strike Long Chen's fist boom the void exploded and fragments of starlight flew through the air. Huge ripples spread, causing the void to collapse wherever they went. If you want to get revenge, then come. As long as you're not afraid of dying that is. Six star battle armor. Long Chen's furious roar came from within those violent ripples. It was impossible to see him. But it suddenly felt as if the world had grown heavier and then lighter everyone had felt like a giant boulder had been crushing them. And just as they resisted, the boulder vanished. They started floating into the sky everyone was startled. What kind of domain was this? It was so strange however, before they could grow accustomed to this new lightness, a terrifying astral wind unfurled. Everyone instinctively summoned their manifestations to block this astral wind. They stared in shock at this moment. They saw a figure with a giant divine ring. The six colors were like the heavens, while the six stars were like the earth. Long Chen appeared like the master of the world, with a pillar of light shooting out of him, blasting apart the clouds. The dark dusk that had covered the martial heaven continent was blown away, revealing the stars. The stars were like a sea reflecting the heavens. Beneath the dome of the sky was one man and one divine ring. When six stars revolved, the divine ring shook the very universe. Just at this moment, 
a figure silently appeared behind Long Chen. Hence, Hu Jinying hastily cried out, Long Chen, watch out. Everyone was shocked to find that one of the tortoise sea demon elders had attacked. Using a strange thorn in his hand, he stabbed toward Long Chen's back. His sudden appearance was extremely bizarre, as it was impossible to sense him. He smiled sinisterly however, just at that moment, Long Chen's figure vanished. When the elder saw that what he had stabbed was nothing more than an afterimage, his expression stiffened. Die, I'll send you to see your young master. Long Chen's voice rang out behind him, and his fist landed squarely on the tortoise shell boom the tortoise shell exploded and bloody mist filled the air. An expert above the nether passage realm had been killed in one blow in front of everyone's shocked gazes. Chapter 2554 Heaven Merging Realm Countless eyes were locked onto Long Chen, unable to believe what they were seeing. An expert above Nether Passage had just been killed in one blow. The fact that Ji Liangchen was able to silently injure that expert had shocked them. But Long Chen was even more exaggerated, blasting him apart with one punch for a moment. Everyone was silent. They could only stare as the bloody mist fell and dispersed. That was the final brilliance of an expert above Nether Passage. It was exceptionally bright and spectacular. Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head, lightly saying, the sea demon race has a short-term memory. Yi Liangchen didn't kill that guy, instead injuring him as a warning. He didn't realize though that Sovereign Sprouts possess the power to fight across realms. If he was not on guard, they could kill him. After that, he wanted to use his realm advantage to trick Long Chen's senses and capture him. Considering that he was suppressing his aura, even though the tortoise race specializes in defense, he couldn't endure an attack from Long Chen. Not even ten lives would have been enough. Through Daoist Heavenly Feather's explanation, everyone realized that he had been vainly trying to capture Long Chen. Considering his full power had been suppressed, it was understandable how he could be killed in one blow. The other tortoise elder suddenly began to shine, and that light transformed the world's Heavenly Dao energy. It became foreign, as if the Heavenly Dao energy had now given themselves to a master after that. The tortoise elder roared and attacked Long Chen. The laws of heaven and earth were compressed under his palm, and multicolored runes enveloped it. Those runes contained metal, wood, water, fire, and earth energies. In this world, no one was capable of controlling so many different energies at the same time because the different energies would suppress each other. One slip up would instantly cause a backlash, however. This tortoise elder's palm was clearly covered by those energies. In fact, those energies seemed to be supporting him of their own accord. As a result, the void rumbled and a huge palm image appeared, covering heaven and earth at this moment. The earth began to sink. This palm seemed to possess the power to destroy the land. This is the power of those above Nether Passage? With the wave of his hand, all the deos are summoned. It is one with the will of heaven and earth. How could anyone block this palm? Startled cries rang out the death of the other elder of the sea demon race had infuriated this tortoise elder. In his fury, he directly unleashed a full power attack, not giving a damn about Long Chen's life or death however. Even in the face of this berserk attack, Long Chen merely snorted. He then unleashed his own palm had he gone mad? Everyone was startled. Long Chen was definitely crazy to face the attack directly boom the two palms crashed together, shaking the land and the stars. But the intense explosion everyone was expecting didn't occur. The space surrounding Long Chen and the Elder was covered in black cracks. Countless black ripples were surging around them within that mass of chaos. Long Chen appeared completely emotionless, while the Tortoise Elder was filled with shock. Even as runes lit up on his shell and the veins on his arm bulged, he was unable to shake Long Chen. Both of their energies were concentrated on one point, and black ripples continued to flicker around them. Emitting a terrifying pressure, he actually blocked it. Jaws dropped. Long Chen was able to receive the full power attack of an expert above Nether Passage, and seemingly without any effort at that, using world energy to make up for the difference in realms. How shocking. Daoist Heavenly Feather mumbled to herself, nodding in praise of everyone present. Perhaps only she was able to see that Long Chen's current power stemmed from his world energy after reaching the 12th heaven stage of Nether Passage. Long Chen had finally learned how to perfectly control his world energy. 
He now knew how to link together his astral spaces with his six-star battle armor not only did this allow his power to soar, but it also gave him unprecedented control over that power. Furthermore, on the Martial Heaven continent, he clearly felt that it was no longer such a burden to summon the six-star battle armor although there were still some sharp pains throughout his body. It wasn't the same as in the Starfield Divine World when his flesh was literally exploding off of him. One reason was due to the increase in his realm, but another reason seemed to be that the Martial Heaven Continent's laws were more suited to the nine-star hegemon body art in this state. Long Chen didn't even need to draw out the life energy of the heavenly Kilin Demon Trees. He could maintain this state easily, filling him with greater confidence in front of countless shocked gazes. Long Chen was facing the Sea Demon Race's elder, Black Rune's world around them, emitting a space-tearing sound although no one got close to the battlefield. They could still sense the apocalyptic power contained within those Black Runes after a while. Long Chen narrowed his eyes and looked at the Black Runes around him. He suddenly smiled. I understand. To become one with the spirit of the world in order to control the laws. To use life and death to merge into the heavenly deos. My guess is that the next realm is called the Heaven Merging Realm. When the name of the Heaven Merging Realm came out of Long Chen's mouth, Hu Jinying, the old man, and the other experts of the senior generation twitched at this moment. The void up in the sky was torn open, and a giant black sword mercilessly slashed down toward Long Chen. It's over. Hu Jinying bitterly closed her eyes. Long Chen was never smart around her. Why did he have to be smart enough to guess the name of this realm this was a forbidden name? The first person in every generation to spit it out would face the wrath of the heavens. In every generation, some people died because their mouths were too loose. This time, it was Long Chen in that instant. The world froze and no one could move. Heavenly Tao energy flooded the air, and people could only watch as that black sword fell. That black sword contained the might of the heavens and represented the will of the world. In front of it, People appeared insignificant, and they couldn't even form an urge to resist. This was a power that sparked despair. This was the wrath of the heavens if the heavenly deos wanted to kill a person. No one could avoid it. So when Long Chen said the name of the heaven merging realm, everyone's heart turned cold at this moment. The black sword slashed down, and Long Chen as well as the tortoise elder were both devoured by it. As a result, a bottomless hole appeared in the ground where the black sword fell even the walls of this hole had turned black, emitting a destructive aura. Fuck. Did I say something wrong? Long Chen's curse rang out from within that black hole, shocking everyone. They saw him safe and sound. The wrath of the heavens has been dodged? How is that possible? No one can escape such a thing. Seeing Long Chen still standing there, everyone was stunned. This was in defiance of an iron rule Ku Jinying and the others were overjoyed to see this, especially Li Xiangxuan. He was the one who was aware that Long Chen would very likely die to the heavenly deos. So that attack just now had been truly frightening. I didn't think that you actually have some ability. It just so happens that I, Yi Liangchen, don't kill nameless nobodies. Only now are you worth me killing. Yi Liangchen stepped forward appearing in front of Long Chen in an instant and sending a kick at Long Chen's face right at the start. Yi Liang Chen already used an insulting attack. It was unknown if he truly didn't care about Long Chen or if he was simply trying to antagonize him. A loser also dares to say such big words? If you didn't flee like a dog back then, you would have long since died to heavenly tribulation. Are you a pig with no memory sneered Long Chen in the face of Yi Liang Chen's kick. Long Chen didn't move to receive it. If he received it, then he would be truly humiliated instead. He flicked a finger, and a small blood-colored lotus flew out at Yi Liang Chen. It was very small, the size of a longan fruit. Despite that, it contained a terrifying power, as this miniature lotus was the world extermination flame lotus using Long Chen's essence blood plus Huo Linger's soul essence as a foundation. It was instantly condensed. This was a technique that Huo Linger had learned after absorbing the myriad flames within the Starfield Divine World although this attack didn't possess the full power of the World Extermination Flame Lotus. Its killing power could be said to be even greater due to its brief casting time. Even a peak expert could be killed in an instant if caught off guard 63 stars floated above the Lotus. This was a 7-star World Extermination Flame Lotus. 
It was particularly strong because Huo Linger had fully recovered thanks to the Mother Tree's help. She was even absorbing the karmic hell flames to strengthen herself further at this moment. Yi Liangchen was startled to sense immense danger from this small lotus. However, he was already unleashing his kick, and if he dodged, it would cost him the initiative. Seeing no other way around it, he summoned his manifestation. Stars illuminate the cosmos. A field of stars appeared behind Yi Liangchen. Those millions of stars seemed to even pack the dome of the heavens within them. Boom Yi Liangchen's foot slammed into Long Chen's flame lotus. Flames unfurled, devouring the heavens. Chapter 2555 Eight King roars at the nine heavens. The flame lotus exploded and flames ignited the world. After that, countless runes appeared in the air, burning. The laws of the heavenly deos can also be ignited? What kind of flame is this? Startled cries rang out. The laws of flames were contained within the laws of the heavenly deos. In other words, they were under restrictions. However, the laws of the heavenly deos around Yi Liangchen were now burning. The flames of this world cannot possibly burn the laws. The only possibility then, is that these flames come from a different world. Guest one expert. The flames unfurled, filling the air. Within those flames, they saw a figure rapidly retreating. It was Yi Liangchen. Yi Liangchen had shattered the world extermination flame lotus, but he himself was blown back by its explosive power. At this moment, his right foot was covered in flames, which only slowly extinguished after a few seconds. He snorted. So you have a few tricks. These flames aren't bad, but they can't do anything to me. The stars behind Yi Liangchen revolved. It was as if he existed within the cosmos. As the river of stars flowed, limitless energy flowed toward him. With this power, he could suppress the karmic hell flames that could otherwise burn any other expert. Hence, it could be seen that Yi Liangchen's wild arrogance had true power to back it up. Standing there, the laws of the heavenly deos prostrated themselves toward him. Stars illuminate the cosmos. This is a manifestation from the immortal era, one that has reached the divine rankings and is ranked 36th. I didn't expect that I would get to see such a manifestation in my lifetime. Sigh Deoist Heavenly Feather. Senior, what is so amazing about this manifestation asked Kujinying. Everyone else's ears perked up. In truth, there are many starry manifestations but only one amongst the divine rankings. However, it is split into two names. One is called Stars Illuminate the Cosmos, while the other is called Stars Move the Cosmos. The former refers to laws. The latter refers to power. However, these are just legends passed down from that time. We'll only know the truth if we keep watching, said Deoist Heavenly Feather. Senior's knowledge is admirable everyone side inside. Deoist Heavenly Feather was truly a godlike existence. It was as if there was nothing in this world that she didn't know. Most curious of all, the rumors had been that Deoist Heavenly Feather's cultivation base was only at the peak of Nether Passage. However, now that more people had reached that realm, they were still unable to sense her cultivation base. Her aura had always been flat, as if she was a mortal who didn't know how to cultivate. Yet, it also felt like that of a supreme expert who had comprehended life, death, and samsara. It was impossible to see through her. However, whatever her cultivation base was, her position, character, and learning had always been extremely admirable and respectable. That was why the Dongfang family head's provocation toward her had drawn the ire of so many people. With this explanation from Daoist Heavenly Feather, everyone stared closely at the two people in the sky. A battle on this level was something that might not occur once in many generations, so they had to watch closely. Those memories would be a precious experience for their descendants. Two people stood in the air, one with a river of stars behind him and the other with a divine ring. Both of them were blazing with killing intent. Yi Liangchen, you stole the lead this time, but if you can't handle him within an incense stick's worth of time, I will have to make my move, said Jiang Wachen coldly. He was one step slower than Yi Liangchen, but considering his status, there was no way he would attack now. Two sovereign sprouts attacking the same person? No matter how that was explained, it would be considered a loss of face. He would then be turned into a laughing stock of the divine families. He couldn't interfere. Thus, he gave Yi Liangchen a warning. An incense sticks worth of time? 
Are you looking down on me or overestimating him? If I wanted to kill him, it wouldn't take the slightest effort. Yi Liangchen was suddenly interrupted by a hand reaching out of the void. It swung in a beautiful arc to strike his arrogant face. Immediately, Yi Liangchen's face distorted from the slap. The light of the stars around his face was shattered, and he shot back along with a sharp shriek, slamming into the ground. A large hole appeared in the ground, and giant cracks spread far into the distance. Only now did Long Chen's figure reappear. I've had enough of your unchanging act. Let's not waste words. Whoever wants to kill me can come at me together. When have I ever been afraid of anyone? Shouted Long Chen, his voice filled with unquestionable domineeringness. Everyone was dumbfounded by this sudden turn of events. One moment, Yi Liangchen had appeared exceptionally domineering, but in the next instant, he was sent flying by a slap to the face. Furthermore, Long Chen had truly been impossibly fast. His movement looked like teleportation as there wasn't the slightest ripple in space whatsoever. Teleportation was just a saying for a kind of instant transportation. In the minds of most people, teleportation was the result of pushing speed to the pinnacle, making it look like instant movement. However, that was not entirely true. Just like transportation formations, teleportation required folding the world. By finding the correct spatial node and accurately calculating the positions, it was possible to shuttle through space. The difference was that no matter how fast you were, you had to accumulate energy that would give a sign to your opponent that you were about to make a move. On the other hand, true teleportation was said to only be possible for those above Nether Passage. In the Heaven Merging Realm, perhaps some people could come into contact with the profundities of space. The tortoise elder that had launched a sneak attack at Long Chen had used a kind of teleportation art to catch Long Chen off guard. However, at that time, people hadn't had time to be shocked by that technique before he was killed by Long Chen. The death of a heaven-merging expert had caused people to overlook his teleportation technique. Therefore, now that Long Chen was also using a teleportation technique to strike Yi Liangchen, everyone was dumbfounded. After that, Long Chen vanished once more, reappearing in front of Jiang Wachen. He smoothly slapped Jiang Wachen across the face as well sending him flying. What Long Chen had slapped the faces of two sovereign sprouts. He was truly heaven-defying. Because Long Chen's speed was so fast, he appeared like a phantom, and even two sovereign sprouts couldn't dodge his slaps. How can there be teleportation within the Nether Passage realm? Demanded an elder from the neutral faction. Stunned. He was an elder who had reached the level of being called a living fossil. His cultivation base had also reached the heaven merging realm. However, it was because he had reached this realm that he was so shocked. Even amongst those who could reach the heaven merging realm, not everyone could comprehend a teleportation art. This elder knew that the tortoise elder's teleportation art was the result of a teleportation art merging with his innate divine ability. It was not a pure teleportation art. However, what Long Chen was using was clearly a pure teleportation art. If someone as powerful as this elder could only grasp the slightest superficial understanding of such a technique, how could Long Chen freely use it? That was unbelievable. The heaven merging realm refers to becoming one with the heavenly deos. At that level, you must be able to control space and spatial laws as they are part of the heavenly deos. However, that does not mean that you must wait until the heaven merging realm to control space. As long as you possess a domain you are in absolute control of, you can do the same, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. After hearing this, the elder bowed toward Daoist Heavenly Feather. Many thanks for clearing up the confusion. This junior is too foolish. Even within my manifestation domain, I cannot accomplish teleportation the elder was actually calling himself a junior in front of Daoist Heavenly Feather. Hence, the entire scene looked like an old man bowing toward a young woman. Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head. Although the world of a manifestation can be considered a kind of domain, a manifestation is still a manifestation. It is not a true world as the laws inside are incomplete. Furthermore, when it is unleashed, it will clash with the laws of the martial heaven continent. Naturally, there is no way to be in complete control of the spatial laws to teleport. What Long Chen is using to teleport is not his manifestation but his own power. 
After that, the elder suddenly came to a realization and bowed deeply toward Deoist Heavenly Feather to express his thanks. Boom. The earth exploded, and two figures charged toward Long Chen at the same time. I'll slaughter you. Both Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen roared at Long Chen. At the same time, Jiang Wachen summoned his manifestation, and a berserk row rang out as the world darkened. Jiang Wachen's manifestation was a towering black ape that beat its chest with its fist, unleashing a violent roar. With every beat of its chest, the world shuddered. Every beat made people feel like their own hearts would beat out of their chests. Another manifestation of the immortal era, eight king roars at the nine heavens, ranked 33rd on the divine manifestation rankings, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Everyone was startled. Jiang Wachen's manifestation was ranked even higher than Yi Liangchen's. Could he be even stronger than Yi Liangchen? As two sovereign sprouts attacked Long Chen at the same time, their power caused the world to change color. Two manifestations on the level of the divine rankings raged. Right now, all the experts present had retreated, afraid of being drawn into this terrifying current. The dragonblood warriors stood in the air, clenching their fists. They knew that their boss was giving a display of power by challenging two sovereign sprouts at once. Long Chen had said that the current Dragonblood Legion had been forced to the point of no return. If they wanted to survive, they had to launch a counterattack. They had to forcibly open a path of living within the chaotic tide. Hence, the Dragonblood Warriors' blood had long since started boiling. They were prepared for a huge battle. As their leader, Long Chen couldn't retreat. Facing two sovereign sprouts, he spread his hands. Boom. The three figures clashed together at the same time, unleashing an explosion of divine light. Chapter 2556 Help You Out The blinding light was the result of multicolored runes exploding. They emitted a blinding light like the sun. When the light slowly faded, it was possible to see three vague figures within. From their general outlines, it was possible to tell who they were. Jiang Wachen's giant body made him very easy to recognize, but Yi Liangchen and Long Chen's figures weren't so easy to tell apart. However, since two of them were attacking one person, the person at the center had to be Long Chen. What happened with Long Chen? How can he block the attacks of two sovereign sprouts by himself? Everyone was startled to see this. It seemed that Long Chen had undergone a heaven-toppling transformation in the Starfield Divine World. Three people were clashing against each other, and berserk energy was constantly exploding from their palms, bursting out like sharp blades, shredding the void around them. Break! Long Chen suddenly roared. At this moment, his six-color divine ring rapidly spun, and power exploded out of his palms like a volcano. With the final explosion, Jiang Wachen and Yi Liangchen were knocked back. Jiang Wachen retreated four steps each step causing the void to shatter like ice. Meanwhile, the ground beneath him exploded, unable to bear that power. As for Yi Liangchen, he was directly sent flying. His manifestation shuddered, attempting to stabilize him but failing. Even one against two, Long Chen could force back his opponents. He actually had the advantage against two sovereign sprouts. Long Aotian was startled, not having expected Long Chen to be so powerful. However, now that things had reached this point, there was no way this battle would end any time soon. After all, Long Chen had just slapped the faces of two sovereign sprouts. There was no way they would take that lying down. Even an ordinary person wouldn't be able to accept such humiliation, let alone prideful sovereign sprouts like Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen. At this moment, Yi Liangchen and Jiang Wachen were ashen, killing intent exploding out of them. Yi Liangchen shouted. Get out of the way. I'll kill him. He's mine. You scram. Jiang Wachen reached out and grabbed the giant hatchet behind him. Despite the hatchet not attacking yet, its sharp aura had sliced through the void. Jiang Wachen was fully enraged now. Long Chen's slap was extremely humiliating, making him feel like he was going insane. Boom. Jiang Wachen was like a wild magical beast charging toward Long Chen. He was wielding his hatchet which was a divine item with an exceedingly ancient history. Its fierce aura caused a rumbling that made people feel like their souls would flee. You scram. His life belongs to me. Yi Liangchen also attacked and a sword appeared in his hand. His sword had countless star patterns along it, 
as if millions of stars had been condensed inside of it. You want to kill me? Just the two of you. Long Chen snorted and Evil Moon appeared in his hand. With a single step, he appeared in front of the charging Yi Liangchen and unleashed a slash. What? Noveloon.com Long Chen's attack was identical to Yi Liangchen's. His saber was slashing at his opponent's head just like Yi Liangchen's sword. There was no feint or trick. Long Chen was truly undergoing a suicidal exchange with Yi Liangchen. Was Long Chen trying to force him to change moves midway? Yi Liangchen twitched. This was clearly an attempt at forcing him to concede and retreat, which would allow Long Chen to grasp the initiative. As a result, Yi Liangchen turned his sword. He had no choice but to switch to defense because he had no confidence in blocking Long Chen's attack with something else. Evil Moon then slashed heavily into Yi Liangchen's sword, sending him back several steps. One unleashed a full strength attack, while the other was forced to switch techniques midway. Yi Liangchen was naturally at a disadvantage. Most shocking of all, he realized that a portion of his power was sucked away by Long Chen. How is that possible? Yi Liangchen found this difficult to believe, as his astral energy came from his manifestation. Only he was able to control this power. If anyone else tried to absorb it, the curse of the stars would kill them. Die. Just at that moment, Jiang Wachen's hatchet fell. This attack had been accumulating power this entire time, so it possessed the power to topple mountains and invert the seas. Go fuck yourself. Long Chen swept his saber out, not forgetting to add a few words. A sinister aura exploded out of Evil Moon. At this moment, two divine items crashed together with shooting stars, and a huge explosion boomed. Intense sound waves spread through the air. As a result, some disciples with weaker cultivation bases held their ears as blood flowed out of them. The only sound they could hear was that booming sound, and they couldn't even hear their own screams. Some disciples even directly fainted. The sound waves possessed a strange law to them, so even though they were at a great distance and at the end of the sound wave, they were still affected. If they were closer, perhaps their souls would directly shatter. In front of countless shocked gazes, Jiang Wachen tumbled back. This giant seemed powerful, but he seemed inferior to Yi Liangchen. Right now, Jiang Wachen was shocked and infuriated. He almost spat out blood, but even as it rose into his throat, he forcibly swallowed it back down. Jiang Wachen clearly sensed that Long Chen's attack just now contained Yi Liangchen's power as well. Did he actually borrow Yi Liangchen's astral energy? Yi Liangchen, what are you doing? Are you lending him your power? Jiang Wachen roared furiously, blaming Yi Liangchen. Perhaps that way, he could win back some face. Using this method, he was telling anyone that he hadn't lost to Long Chen. It was Yi Liangchen who had loaned Long Chen power. Just now, it had been the two of them together to force him back. Yi Liangchen was still shocked, pondering about how Long Chen had taken his astral energy when he heard Jiang Wachen's cursing. As a result, his fury soared, but he had no way to explain it. Long Chen truly had borrowed a portion of his power, and Jiang Wachen's announcement had told everyone that he was the loser in the previous exchange. I told you not to interfere. I'm going to use my full power now, so don't get hurt accidentally. Yi Liangchen snorted, and the river of stars behind him suddenly charged out of his manifestation, transforming into sharp swords. He's a sword cultivator, exclaimed Yu Zifeng. A sword cultivator? Aren't sword cultivators only capable of using sword arts? Asked Guo Ran and the others. A sword cultivator could only use the sword, so using other magical arts was a blasphemy to the sword. But Yi Liangchen had previously used his fists and only taken out his sword once he had been slapped by Long Chen. Summoning a river of stars to fight was also not the method of a sword cultivator. If it wasn't Yu Zifeng personally making this statement, no one would believe that Yi Liangchen was a sword cultivator. I don't understand either, but his stars contain the will of the sword Dao. These attacks are the result of triggering that will. Look carefully at his sword, said Yu Zifeng. When they focused on Yi Liangchen's sword, they suddenly noticed that the stars within were mimicking the swords being unleashed by his manifestation. Is his sword linked to his manifestation? Hence. He can only unleash his greatest power when his manifestation is fully activated. Right? Asked Meng Chi. That is most likely the case. 
said Yu Zifeng. Everyone sucked in a cold gasp of air. If that was true, then Yi Liangchen's strongest state was when those millions of stars were fully activated. Even in his current state, none of them could match him. If he activated all those stars in his manifestation, who could fight him? At this time, star swords streaked toward Long Chen, and he repeatedly swung Evil Moon, blasting them apart. Swords rained down around him, leaving glossy holes in the ground and enveloping him. On the other hand, Jiang Wachen stood still and watched. After a moment of hesitation, he coldly said, You still have half an incense stick's worth of time. Although Jiang Wachen was also angry, attacking Long Chen now would end up with him clashing with Yi Liang Chen. So he chose to endure briefly. Long Chen, you had better endure this. You can't die to his hands. Or, I, Jiang Wachen, will kill everyone connected to you, shouted Jiang Wachen. Suddenly, lightning exploded out of Long Chen. At some point, the void had been filled with lightning runes. They had been hidden before, but now they appeared, transforming the battlefield into a sea of lightning. So that's what was going on. When the sea of lightning appeared, the question that everyone had been pondering was answered. This was how Long Chen was teleporting. He had a lightning domain present that none of them had noticed before. His control over this lightning had reached a practically perfect level to be able to hide it from everyone. The spatial pressure of the battle had increased with the intensity of the fighting, affecting these runes. Hence, he had to increase their power if he wanted to continue teleporting, but this decision would expose them. When those lightning runes appeared, Long Chen's body vanished and he escaped Ji Liang Chen's lock, essentially exposing his teleportation secret. However, just as he vanished, Jiang Wachen's heart turned cold. His hair suddenly stood on end as a sensation of death filled him. After that, he instinctively shot forward and raised his hatchet behind him as a shield. Boom. Evil Moon then slammed into the hatchet, exploding with power. Being unable to block the intensity of the clash, Jiang Wachen coughed up a mouthful of blood and slammed into the ground, raising a giant wave of earth. Since you want to die so badly, I'll help you out. Killing intent blazed within Long Chen's eyes. His divine ring suddenly changed. Now, three of the colors were spinning clockwise, while the other three spun counterclockwise. Six stars lit up within his divine ring. Light shot out of the Feng Fu star to the Aliyah, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, Divine Gate, and Nether Gate stars, before finally returning to the Feng Fu star, creating a six-point star. When that six-point star appeared, Long Chen's blood chi was fully activated and a berserk power caused the world to shudder. A domineering will fill the air. Boss is finally unleashing his full power, exclaimed Guo Ran. Long Chen had been fully enraged by Jiang Wachen. Suddenly, Long Chen swung Evil Moon at the earth, striking Jiang Wachen who was just climbing out of the ground. Chapter 2557 Huo Linger comes out to fight Jiang Wachen could feel the world freeze as if a star was crashing toward him. Even before the attack reached him, the pressure made him feel like his body would explode. Jiang Wachen was shocked. Due to leaving Long Chen to Yi Liang Chen, he hadn't fully activated his manifestation. Also, he hadn't expected Yi Liang Chen to allow Long Chen to escape his lock. That was why he was now at a disadvantage. Sensing the lethal power of Long Chen's saber, Jiang Wachen let out a roar, and a rune lit up on his forehead. At the same time, the giant eight king in his manifestation also roared, an identical rune appearing on its forehead. Boom. However, before he could accumulate his energy, Long Chen's saber had arrived. Both of them crashed through the earth. The earth trembled and shook, completely deforming. A giant bubble of earth rose out of the ground. Bang. That giant bubble finally exploded, sending a mass of rubble in every direction. At this moment, Jiang Wachen's figure appeared. Flying back, Jiang Wachen is injured. Everyone saw that a foot-long wound had appeared on Jiang Wachen's chest. His white robes were now stained with blood. It was unknown if it was because all sovereign sprouts wore white robes, but the look of those robes always made them appear rather spiritual and graceful. However, Jiang Wachen's giant body was unable to give off the same effect. He looked more like a monkey wearing white robes, and it gave off an extremely jarring feeling. Through the cut in his white robes, people saw black under armor beneath. However, 
Even this armor had been cut apart. I really dislike it when people threaten me. A dragon has a reverse scale. If it is touched, it will draw its fury. Since you lack any sense of respect, let's fight with our lives on the line. We'll see whose life is tougher. Long Chen's figure appeared and a wicked aura accumulated around him. Everyone could see his black robes flapping in a wild wind and the icy killing intent in his eyes. His back was bent slightly like a leopard staring at his prey, about to unleash a fatal blow. Just at this moment, star swords came shooting toward Long Chen once more. However, Yi Liangchen couldn't unleash all the stars within his manifestation at once. It seemed that every star needed to attack once in order to fully activate his manifestation. At this moment, a young lady suddenly appeared behind Long Chen. She was wrapped in flames, and flame runes revolved in her eyes. She was forming hand seals. Raging flames devour the heavens. Huo Linger's voice was melodious like an aureole, but her attack was not so warm. Thanks to the help of the mother tree and Ling Shi, Huo Linger had fully merged with the deos of the thousands of flames within the Starfield Divine World. She now possessed a level of control over all kinds of flames. A normal flame cultivator first learned how to control techniques and hand seals before trying to control flames. But Huo Linger was a spirit of fire, so she didn't need to learn all that. Over the years, Long Chen had given her various treasures, raising her spirituality. Because of this, she knew all kinds of techniques. Furthermore, through hand seals, she could use her flame energy to draw out the world's flame energy, merging the two. That raised her power to the peak and saved her a great deal of energy. During her final days in the Starfield Divine World, Huo Linger had spent all her time training hand seals. Moreover, those hand seals were not taught to her by Long Chen. They were things that she comprehended herself. Others went from outside in, but Huo Linger was the opposite. Rather than the normal path of flame cultivators, she used her flames to make hand seals, not the other way around. At this moment, flames burst forth and giant flame dragons crashed into the star swords. The flame dragons and star swords exploded when they met. Who is she? I've never seen her before. People were startled to see a new character who was capable of blocking Yi Liangchen's swords. Even if those swords were just a process of Yi Liangchen fully activating his manifestation, every single one of them possessed the power to kill an Empyrean at the peak of the Nether Passage realm with tens of thousands of them flying through the air at once. Even a peak heavenly genius would find it difficult to block them. How was this girl that they had never seen before capable of receiving them so easily? Huo Linger, help me block him. Don't let him interfere, said Long Chen. All right, leave him to me. Huo Linger smiled. A flame sword appeared in her hand. This was a three-foot flame sword that was thin and narrow. It looked very delicate. However, as soon as it appeared, the entire battlefield space twisted. As Huo Linger swung her sword, a flame dragon shot out, blasting apart a wave of the star swords. What startled cries rang out. This girl was actually able to unleash such an attack. A sea of flames spread through the battlefield, enveloping Yi Liangchen. At that moment, Huo Linger vanished and reappeared in front of Yi Liangchen, unleashing another slash of her sword. That's that's Long Chen's technique. Huo Linger was teleporting as well. Anywhere there were flames, she could freely teleport. Scram. Yi Liangchen slashed with his starry sword. Boom. Yi Liangchen hastily retreated, and people were shocked to find flames burning him. It seemed that his expression wasn't very good. Yi Liangchen found that these flames were not so simple. They were causing his blood chi to surge chaotically, making him feel uneasy. Furthermore, they were capable of even igniting his astral energy. What kind of flames are these? Roared Yi Liangchen. His astral energy had never been affected by any kind of flame before. These unknown flames were shocking. Big brother Long Chen told me not to talk to strangers. So I can't tell you. Especially since you're a bad egg who's going against him. Huo Linger shook her head and attacked once more. The sword in her hand was condensed of the purest power of the karmic hell flames. Although the true karmic hell flames had been absorbed and these karmic hell flames were an imitation that lacked their full power, they had at least retained a bit of the karmic hell flames' special abilities. The karmic hell flames were something that even gods were afraid of. 
If these were the netherworld's true karmic hell flames, Yi Liangchen would already be incinerated. Despite being an imitation, these karmic hell flames were not so simple either. Yi Liangchen's astral energy was being burned, and his manifestation was greatly disturbed. Like this, Yi Liangchen was unable to unleash the full power of his manifestation. You want to stop me? Long Chen, you really are despicable. Then today, I'll kill this little girl of yours. Yi Liangchen sneered. He stopped trying to activate his manifestation and instead attacked directly with his sword. The stars within his sword blazed with light, like it was a river of stars. As it slashed down, Spastime was suddenly thrown into chaos. What a terrifying sword. Look at the stars in his manifestation. It seems that a tenth of them have been activated. If he activates them all, just how powerful will he be? The crowd turned ashen. Now they knew why some geniuses were called Sovereign Sprouts. They were existences that they couldn't touch. Compared to them, the various geniuses of the Martial Heaven continent were merely ordinary. The difference was too great. If the Sovereign Sprouts were already on this level, then just how powerful were actual Sovereigns? No wonder it was said that they were undefeatable existences. Their power could not be imagined. At this moment, this sword was slicing through the void destroying even the surrounding flames. Looking at what was happening, Huo Linger formed hand seals with her left hand as she held her sword in her right hand. After that, images appeared over her fingertips, and flame runes condensed into giant walls before her. In an instant, over a hundred flame walls appeared. One-handed seals. Startled cries rang out. Huo Linger had just made over a hundred hand seals in the blink of an eye. Was she really human? Every hand seal required the body, heart, and will to work together. There couldn't be the slightest error. To create seven hand seals in one breath could rank someone amongst geniuses. The strongest record was someone creating 17 hand seals in an instant. That record had never been touched. However, Huo Linger had made over a hundred hand seals in an instant, and this completely toppled their understanding of hand seals. They felt like they were going crazy. Having to endure Yi Liangchen's attack, the flame walls were exploding one by one. When the final wall was broken, Huo Linger swung her sword. With the final explosion, Yi Liangchen's attack was shattered. Noveloon.com The flame walls had constantly ground down his sword's power. By the time it broke the final wall, it was essentially out of power. So Huo Linger easily destroyed it. Everyone sighed in amazement. They had sensed just how terrifying Yi Liangchen's attack was. This meant that Huo Linger's flame walls were also incredibly powerful. Suddenly, flame runes shuddered and condensed into countless dragons that surrounded Yi Liangchen. After that, Yi Liangchen's sword danced in the air, unleashing streaks of sword chi that destroyed the flame dragons. Looking at this, Huo Linger extended her left hand once more. Her fingers danced as she quickly created hand seals. It was impossible to even see her fingers clearly. As she rapidly formed hand seals, more flame dragons appeared within the sea of flames. Following that, the people heard the roars of various beasts. Then flame swords, flame sabers, flame spears, flame chains. The flame runes condensed into countless weapons and beasts, all attacking Yi Liangchen. Yi Liangchen's sword was fast. But Huo Linger's speed with which she formed hand seals was even faster. Her attacks came in an unending stream. Furthermore, her flame energy continued to spread, and the world's flame energy was rapidly being summoned here. A giant flame domain was constantly growing around Huo Linger and Yi Liangchen. At this moment, various flame manifestations were constantly attacking Yi Liangchen. Weapons, beasts, prisons, mountains. Countless shapes and forms attacked. Is she really human? People stared at Huo Linger in shock. Chapter 2558 Phoenix roams the heavens. What is going on? Am I going crazy? Senior, please help explain things to us. Begged an elder to Daoist Heavenly Feather. Such a thing should theoretically not be spoken of. After all, this was most likely some kind of secret of Huo Linger. Something taboo for others to know. But seeing Huo Linger rapidly forming hand seals with no pause, these experts were starting to question their own existences. She had formed over a thousand seals in just a few breaths. This hand seal rate is inhuman. Is there some kind of trick behind it? 
Others also wished to know what was going on. Amongst all of them, Daoist Heavenly Feather had the highest seniority, the greatest experience, and was the most erudite. Perhaps she was the only one who could know. Daoist Heavenly Feather smiled. You are correct. She truly isn't human. A human cannot do this. Not even a sovereign then. She is a spirit of fire that has taken human form. Being made of flames. All flame arts are under her control. Her hand seals use her flame energy to draw out the world's flame energy. Countless variations are undergone with the casual turns of her hand. There are flame spirit bodies. I spirit bodies. But whether they are natural or artificial, they are not true spiritual bodies. Since this girl is a condensation of flames, she has a true spiritual body. There's nothing curious about her being able to use flame arts, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. But she possesses her own soul. She even has bloodline energy. Are we sensing it wrong? Your senses are not wrong. But don't look at me. I've lived for many years, but I have not seen everything. In theory, a fire spirit is the same as ordinary earth flame spirit beasts. They possess a trace of spirituality, but lack spiritual strength. They can condense a form, but lack a bloodline foundation. As for Long Chen's flame spirit, I don't know why she is the same as a person, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Even she was unable to answer everyone's questions. All things had spirits, but there were laws differentiating them. A flame spirit was always low level, and no matter how great its spirituality grew, there was a limit. That was an iron law. However, Huo Linger had broken this iron law. Not only did she look like a person, but she also seemed to possess her own flesh and blood. Her soul was the same case. Her intelligence was an equal match with the humans, and she had even learned hand seals. There was no way to explain this. Explosions constantly rang out from within the flames. Flame runes whirled around, but it was impossible to see Yi Liangchen. Through these explosions, it was clear that he was trying to escape Huo Linger's prison. However, Huo Linger's hand seals changed quickly, and an unending stream of flame arts submerged Yi Liangchen. No matter how he attacked, he was unable to escape her flame domain. Let's see how long you can last. Yi Liangchen's voice rang out from within the flames. It seemed that being trapped by a flame spirit was extremely infuriating for him. But it also seemed that he was helpless to do anything to Huo Linger temporarily. He could only slowly exhaust her. After all, she was currently controlling a giant flame domain that had to use up an enormous amount of energy. She couldn't last forever. Big Brother Long Chen told me that all I had to do was to trap you. I've accomplished my mission. Huo Linger giggled, her face completely pure and innocent. How powerful. She actually managed to trap Yi Liangchen. So Long Chen is in possession of a flame spirit capable of imprisoning a sovereign sprout. Yi Liangchen was most likely too careless. Perhaps he wanted to give a display of power to intimidate others as a stalling tactic. If he could activate another tenth of his stars, perhaps this flame spirit would be unable to trap him. To put it frankly, a square-faced man suddenly shook his head. He tried acting like a badass only to end up being a dumbass, finished off someone else. I'm not the one to say it. The square-faced man pretended not to know anything, but everyone understood. There was actually someone with such a loose mouth as to say such a thing. The person with the loose mouth also had an urge to slap himself. He had essentially just cursed Yi Liangchen. If Yi Liangchen learned of it, he would lose his life. Hence, he glared at the square-faced man cursing him for leaving this hole for him to jump into. But he could only blame himself for directly jumping in. Careful. Suddenly, a startled cry interrupted them. A saber image descended from the heavens, and everyone hastily dodged to the side. Boom. The saber image slashed a narrow and deep ditch in the ground. Unfortunately, one expert was rather slow and was cut by the wind. Cracks covered his entire body, and he instantly grew still, afraid of moving an inch. After that, a wood element expert extended a hand, sending life energy into his body. This third step nether passage expert slowly began to recover. The people beside him involuntarily gulped. They felt their throats turn dry and their bodies turn cold. Just the wind from the saber image was enough to almost kill them. Just how powerful was the real attack? They looked over, 
but there were too many flames to see. They were unable to see anything. This saber that had descended from the heavens had truly been frightening. I feel like we should find a different place to watch from. This place doesn't have good feng shui, proposed one person before fleeing. The flames here blocked their sight, so they couldn't see what was happening with Long Chen and Jiang Wachen. Hence, they were unable to dodge their attacks in time. If it hadn't been for that timely warning, who knew how many of them would have died just now? With Huo Linger blocking Yi Liang Chen, Long Chen was going all out. His six-star battle armor was at full power. Is Long Chen injured? The people who retreated and managed to get a view from around the Sea of Flames saw Long Chen covered in blood. They were startled to see this, but they were even more shocked to see Jiang Wachen. He had grown even larger than before. He looked like a giant devil ape. Every swing of his hatchet possessed enough power to shatter stars. Jiang Wachen had used some unknown technique, and his eyes had turned scarlet. Those were no longer the eyes of a human. He was like a wild beast. At this moment, Jiang Wachen's body was covered in a dozen wounds. Every one of those wounds was deep enough that they could see bone. Blood was splashing out of both of them as they fought. The most shocking thing was that as their focus had been on Huo Linger, something had happened to cause Jiang Wachen's aura to slowly fall. Meanwhile, Long Chen's aura was as fierce as ever. Boom. Long Chen's saber slammed into Jiang Wachen's hatchet, knocking it aside and giving him the space to land a kick on Jiang Wachen's jaw. A cracking sound rang out. What happened during this time? Jiang Wachen activated his manifestation and transformed into a monster. But, he still can't beat Long Chen. Furthermore, it seems that his mind is affected, allowing Long Chen to injure him multiple times. If it was anyone else, they would probably have been hacked to death already. The spectators were now spread all around the battlefield. Some people were entirely focused on Long Chen and ignored the fight between Huo Linger and Yi Liang Chen. After breaking Jiang Wachen's jaw, Long Chen slashed Devil Moon at Jiang Wachen's head without hesitation. However, a golden sword appeared in his way, blocking him. Feng Fei Feng Fei was actually joining in the fight as she was from the same family as Jiang Wachen. However, by interfering now, did that not signify that Jiang Wachen had lost? Sparks flew. Feng Fei was actually blown back, and her manifestation shuddered seemingly on the verge of collapse. Feng Fei was startled by this. Only upon blocking Long Chen's attack did she truly grasp just how powerful he was. The power contained within his saber only erupted the instant it made contact with its target. This saber contained a domineering will that had almost shattered her manifestation. If her manifestation shattered, she would lose her heavenly Tao energy, and that would leave her open to be killed by Long Chen. Feng Fei had no choice but to interfere. In her eyes, Jiang Wachen had already lost. Long Chen's attacks were bizarre, and the injuries he caused could not be healed by heavenly Tao energy. Although Long Chen was also covered in blood, that was caused entirely by himself. He was unable to perfectly handle the power of the nine-star hegemon body art, resulting in his body slowly tearing itself apart. As those injuries were not given to him by Jiang Wachen, Feng Fei couldn't allow Jiang Wachen's defeat to look too terrible. Two against one. Three against one. It doesn't matter. Come. Long Chen snorted and raised Evil Moon once more. His killing intent did not flag at all. Jiang Wachen had used his family to threaten him, and he could not endure this. Phoenix roams the heavens. Feng Fei was rapidly forming hand seals and condensed her manifestation. After that, a brilliant Phoenix cry rang out. A phoenix then came flying out of her manifestation, unleashing rainbow light that dyed the world in its color. As soon as it appeared, any who looked at it felt a sharp pain in their souls. The phoenix cry shook their minds. What a powerful soul art. Menki's expression changed. She could sense just how terrifying this attack was. This phoenix was not as simple as just being part of her manifestation. It possessed its own will. The phoenix spread its wings and charged at Long Chen. Runes lit up on its body, and a strange sound filled the air. A-H-H. Countless disciples screamed, clutching their heads. That sound was like iron nails scraping each other. It wasn't a loud sound, but it pierced their ears and into the depths of their souls. Don't try the same trick against me twice. 
the star in Long Chen's divine ring that represented the divine gate star suddenly blazed with light. Light also exploded out of Evil Moon as Long Chen's spiritual strength erupted. Boom. Evil Moon slashed down. The divine gate star shuddered, supporting Evil Moon with its power. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, Feng Fei's giant phoenix was cleanly cut in two. A miserable shriek rang out through the air. Chapter 2559 Untamable This terrifying phoenix was a soul art, not a true physical body. However, it was still cleaved in two by Long Chen's saber. As a result, Feng Fei instantly turned as pale as paper. Blood flowed out of her mouth, and the phoenix's mournful cry rang out as it fell from the sky. At this moment, Feng Fei was filled with disbelief. Last time, she had used this move in an attempt to suppress Long Chen in front of the headquarters of the ancient family alliance. However, that had provoked Long Chen's divine gate star, resulting in a fierce counterattack that ended with both of them injured. Feng Fei had ended up treating that time as a mystery, but she hadn't cared particularly because she had not used her full power. At that time, this technique had still been in an embryonic state. Its power was now many times greater. This attack contained a phoenix's soul essence that she used her soul to nourish. It was a priceless treasure of the divine families. Something unique with no duplicate even within the divine families. In her youth, this strand of soul essence had been placed in her soul to be raised as her most loyal husband. When she used this soul art, the phoenix's soul essence supported it. Such a soul art contained the divine might of a phoenix, making it an incredibly powerful move. However, even such a powerful move was cut in two by Long Chen. Her phoenix soul essence was injured. Last time you were so forceful. I didn't know how to use soul arts, nor did I wish to expose my trump cards because of you. That's the only reason you managed to injure me. This is the constant look of the divine families, arrogant idiots who think the world belongs to them. I give you face, but you don't give face. The big picture, the lives of the world, righteousness, you don't care about any of them. By blaming us for all these when we don't listen to your orders, are you taking us for fools? Since you don't want to get along, we can all just trap ourselves. We'll see who dies first. Long Chen stepped forward and slashed Evil Moon at Feng Fei once more. In the distance, Long Aotian's expression darkened. Long Chen's cursing had included him as well. He then narrowed his eyes. The Long family had sent him in order to form a good relationship with Long Chen. The Long family's higher-ups had already figured out Long Chen's character. He was someone who repaid debts. As long as they gave him a favor, they could easily get closer. If Long Aotian could pull Long Chen in, it would be equivalent to pulling in the Dragonblood Legion, the Martial Heaven Alliance, and the Xuan Beasts as well. However, Long Aotian had his own pride, and he was resistant to helping Long Chen. That was because Long Chen had snubbed their faces back in the day. Furthermore, Long Aotian didn't really care about the Martial Heaven Continent's people. He didn't think there was anyone useful amongst them that could help him. But since the family head had ordered him, he had no choice but to come. He knew that this was not something only involving him. It implicated the competition between all four families. Although he was unwilling, he still had to come. However, he hadn't expected that Long Chen wouldn't even give him a chance to interfere. Long Chen's power was truly stunning. He had been standing in the distance the entire time just waiting for Long Chen to fall into crisis so that he could save Long Chen. That was the order that the Long family had had given him. Unfortunately, Long Chen's arrogance greatly displeased him. Long Chen was publicly challenging the divine families, and this further antagonized him. Boom. Jiang Wachen charged over. Despite being covered in blood, he blocked Long Chen. In exchange, he was sent flying once more. Jiang Wachen was no longer in his peak state. After being repeatedly injured so badly, his blood chi was no longer at full capacity. On the other hand, it seemed that Long Chen was still as strong as ever. Even Sovereign Sprouts can't stop him. It seems that Long Chen truly has the ability to suppress Jarishan. When they heard that Long Chen had suppressed Jarishan, they assumed that he had done so with the full power of the Dragonblood Legion. Now it seemed that he had no need for such a thing. Jiang Wachen's defeat was already clear. In terms of power, he was at an absolute disadvantage. 
As for Feng Fei, she was injured after only one blow. On the other side of the battlefield, Yi Liangchen was still trapped by Huo Linger. Was there anyone who could stop him now? Bastard, you're courting death. Jiang Wachen roared. A berserk expression appeared on his face. Jiang Wachen's chest suddenly began to glow. In that instant, the world flickered and an intense feeling of death swamped Long Chen's heart. You can't. Feng Fei turned grave and charged over at Jiang Wachen. Bang. Suddenly, a hand slammed into Jiang Wachen's chest. The light that was gathering there shattered. You've gone mad. If you activate your spirit bone now, you will no longer be qualified to become a sovereign. The one who had interfered was surprisingly Long Aotian. Long Aotian's movements were extremely bizarre. He was completely silent, like a phantom. No one had sensed him move Novaloon.com Long Aotian's actions caused Jiang Wachen to cough up a mouthful of blood. His aura suddenly dropped. Feng Fei supported Jiang Wachen, examining his chest. She finally sighed with relief. Long Chen looked at Long Aotian. Are you joining in as well? I came to save you. We can stop here. Long Aotian frowned. Save me? Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed. What a huge joke. The only one in this world that can save me is myself. From the Starfield Divine World, I can tell that your divine families are not interested in fighting against the tribulation of the Dark Era. You don't care about the lives of the Martial Heaven Continent. You're so busy fighting each other that you aren't even aware of yourselves. You act like gods. Like others owe you something. It's like the slightest offense against you deserves complete annihilation. Sorry, I don't care how strong you are but I'm no longer associating with you. This bastard threatened me just now, so I'm going to kill him. You now have two options, either leave or take out your weapon. Long Chen, you are too arrogant barked Long Aotian. Me, arrogant? Am I as arrogant as you sovereign sprouts? Back in the immemorial path, you were so arrogant that you didn't give a damn about other people's lives. Others were undergoing tribulation, but you suddenly charged in. Others begged you to let them live. But what did you do? Other than disdainfully sneering at them. What else did you do? There's no need for more words. Are you getting out of the way or not? The more Long Chen talked, the angrier he became. The hatred toward the four of them from back then was now unleashed. Back then, Yu Ziaokian was undergoing her tribulation and almost died due to their tribulation. Long Chen had begged them to slow down and allow her to pass. After all, her tribulation was almost over, and she would need at most a few breaths of time. However, the four of them hadn't cared about either of them. Long Chen was powerless to interfere in Yu Ziaokian's tribulation, but fortunately she had managed to pass with her own power. At that time, Long Chen's hatred had started simmering toward the four of them, and upon entering the Starfield Divine World, Long Chen had given up any hope toward the Long family. The Long family had not given him any information about what was inside, and he refused to believe that they didn't know Jarishan would be coming in. He refused to believe that they didn't know about the 10,000 dragon nest or the mother tree. Moreover, the sea demon race, Pill Valley, the corrupt path, and the divine families had colluded to bait him into the territory of the mother tree in order to kill him. He refused to believe that this was not prearranged. In Long Chen's view, the Starfield Divine World had been a trap. Although it wasn't necessarily set up by the Long family, they had known about it and not told him. This was a betrayal. Now that he was facing Long Aotian, his past and current enmity had combined. Hence, Long Chen was filled with killing intent. He would no longer be working together with the Divine families. In the Starfield Divine World, he had sworn not to rely on others but himself. Long Chen pointed Evil Moon at Long Aotian's nose. Everyone was stunned. Long Chen was planning on challenging all four sovereign sprouts at once. Long Aotian stared at Long Chen. He slowly clenched his fists. I was thinking of helping you, but since you refuse to recognize kindness, don't blame me. Just as Long Aotian was about to make his move, rumbling filled the air. A horrifying pressure crashed down upon heaven and earth. Long Chen. Release Rishan or I will slaughter your entire family. A furious row rang out. The void rumbled and collapsed, revealing a black hand. As the hand pulled at the void, an old woman walked out, tearing through the void. It's a heaven merging expert. Startled cries rang out. 
This person seemed even stronger than the previous heaven merging experts. This exceedingly ancient looking woman was covered in wrinkles, and there were countless spots on her skin. She was withered like firewood. It looked like a puff of wind could blow her away. However, her hands were black and sharp like bird claws. Her nails were very long and looked like they were made of metal. As soon as the old woman appeared, her figure shook and Long Chen felt a chill. He had been locked onto. Without thinking, Long Chen swung Evil Moon. His attack then landed firmly on a withered claw. As a result, Long Chen's body quivered, and the flesh on his arm almost tore itself off his bones. He flew back. Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood. He was shocked. This person knew true teleportation, so he was unable to grasp her location. He had relied entirely on his years of experience and sense of danger to instinctively block her attack. He had randomly guessed correctly. You have some skill. The old woman was somewhat surprised. Her figure once more vanished. Long Chen swung Evil Moon behind him, once more accurately blocking her attack. However, this time he coughed up three mouthfuls of blood, tumbling away. The old woman snorted at being blocked twice. She was about to continue attacking when Long Chen suddenly took out something that made her expression change. Chapter 2560 The Heaven's Weak Old Bitch Do you want to continue? Why aren't you attacking? Long Chen was holding a golden foot tall miniature human. It was Jarishan. Jarishan was covered in runes. This was a formation that Xia Chen had set up to prevent him from escaping. Seeing Long Chen covered in blood. The rest of the Dragonblood Legion immediately charged over. They then stood behind Long Chen, facing the old woman. Just at this moment, Yi Liangchen finally escaped his restrictions. The Sea of Flames vanished and Huo Linger also appeared behind Long Chen. Yi Liangchen was ashen. He had been trapped for a long time. Moreover, Huo Linger's attacks were too difficult to deal with. Hundreds of different attacks had come at him with every blink of an eye so he hadn't even had a chance to breathe. He had sensed Huo Linger's power starting to drop and had been preparing to break free when Huo Linger suddenly released him of her own accord. That was essentially announcing to everyone that he hadn't been able to do anything to Huo Linger. He was actually defeated by a simple housepit of Long Chen's, killing intent blazed in his eyes. However, after seeing the old woman, he didn't say anything. That was because this old woman was the current head of the Zhao family. The seniors of the divine families had not been intending on interfering this time. They were leaving things to the junior generation. Most likely, the Zhao family head had furiously charged over upon learning that Jarishan had been captured. In her fury, she didn't care about status or seniority. Long Chen was now holding Jarishan in front of her. A sneer appeared on his face. Come over and test me. I'll immediately crush Jarishan. I've never spoken any empty threats in this lifetime. If you don't believe it, you are welcome to try it. The old woman was startled, infuriated, and aggrieved to see the listless Jarishan. She shouted, release him immediately. Do you think I'm an idiot? Why would I release him? Long Chen looked at her contemptuously. Although he didn't know her status, based on her care for Jarishan, she was definitely one of his ancestors. The last two attacks had caused cracks to appear in Long Chen's bones. Most terrifying of all was that this woman was capable of reflecting a portion of Long Chen's power to further injure him. Long Chen wasn't afraid of anyone, but this old woman made him feel a sense of profound powerlessness. Her realm was far higher than his, compared to the heaven-merging sea demons he had killed. The difference was like heaven and earth. Furthermore, her teleportation art came without the slightest warning. If it weren't for the sharp senses of the nine-star hegemon body art, he might not have been able to stop even the first attack. To fight against such a terrifying opponent head-on was definitely not wise. His arrogance had not reached the point of thinking that he was unrivaled beneath the heavens. If something happens to Jarishan, I swear that you and your people will all suffer endless torment. Even death will become extremely luxurious for you. The old woman glared at Long Chen with rancor. Ha ha ha. Long Chen raised his head and laughed. That laughter was filled with fury. As expected, the divine families, from top to bottom, only knew how to threaten people. It was as if they truly felt that they were gods, and any defiance was blasphemy. Long Chen, 
release me and you can still live, shouted Jarishan. Ha ha ha. Long Chen continued to laugh. However, his wild laughter suddenly became filled with killing intent. That sharp killing intent caused the world to change color. Not good. This is a premonition of. People looked up to see that the sky had turned gloomy. Faint drops of rain were starting to fall, and the sound of the rain was like crying. A mournful feeling appeared in the air. The heavens weep. Daoist heavenly feather muttered. Boom. Long Chen clenched his hand and Jarishan exploded. In that instant, the world turned dark. Time seemed to stand still. Long Aoshan, Yi Liangchen, Jiang Wachen, and Feng Fei were all dumbfounded. Long Chen really had killed Jarishan. Golden specks of light shot out like a firework. After one brilliant explosion, they faded away. Jarishan's aura had vanished without a trace. He died. Whether it was the people from Pill Valley, the ancient family alliance, the sea demon race, or the corrupt path, allied powers like the martial heaven alliance, or neutral powers, they were all stunned. They had never imagined that Long Chen would kill one of the divine family's sovereign sprouts. They had assumed that Long Chen would use Jarishan as a trump card to keep himself alive. He could then use him to blackmail the divine families, making them afraid of making a move on his people. At the very least, he could make the divine family swear a poisonous oath to no longer offend him. Then both sides could leave things behind peacefully. However, this trump card was now shattered in front of everyone. Rain poured down and a feeling of mourning filled the world. The heavens were weeping. Legend was that these people were the children of the heavens, the ones adored above all others. Their deaths would cause the heavens to weep. Such a thing previously only existed in legend, but now it appeared before them. Furthermore, they could clearly sense that the weeping of the heavens had started before Long Chen killed Jarishan. It had started as soon as the old woman had threatened Long Chen. In other words, her words had set Jarishan's death in stone. The heavens had realized what would happen and started weeping. The old woman simply stared in dumbfounded silence as the golden specks of light faded away. It was only after several breaths that she let out a mournful shriek. I'll make all of you pay with your lives. The old woman was so enraged that she went crazy. She had never dreamed that Long Chen would dare to kill Jarishan. The Dragonblood warriors summoned their manifestations. Even if they were facing a terrifying heaven-merging expert, they didn't feel the slightest fear. They knew that this battle might end with all of them wiped out. But on the day that they set foot into the cultivation world, they had accepted that death would come sooner or later. The divine family's arrogance had long since infuriated them. Moreover, Jarishan had caused the deaths of over ten dragonblood warriors and hundreds of thousands of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. By the same token, this old woman didn't care about right or wrong. She was simply trying to use her superior position to order them around. She had even used their lives to threaten Long Chen. And that was unacceptable to them. Novaloon.com When Long Chen crushed Jarishan, all the Dragonblood warriors felt like shouting. This was their boss. Even if they had to die together, they wouldn't endure this kind of humiliation. Go all out against this bitch. It was unknown who shouted this amongst the Martial Heaven Alliance. But hundreds of thousands of their disciples also came to stand behind the Dragonblood Legion. Not one of the Xuan beasts retreated. Moreover, the Nangong family, the Bidang family, the elusive music Immortal Palace, and the Mo Gate all stood behind the Dragonblood Legion. Even if they were facing a supreme expert of the divine families, these juniors did not retreat in fear. They would fight to the death with Long Chen. Of almost a million disciples, not one retreated. This scene stunned everyone. Do you think numbers can make it impossible for me to punish you? Since you all want to die, you can die. Shouted the old woman. Jinying, prepare the tablet. Shouted the old man. Hu Jinying nodded and took out the martial heaven virtue tablet. But just at this moment, Daoist heavenly feather stepped forward lightly, suddenly vanishing from sight. Everyone let out startled cries upon seeing Daoist Heavenly Feather appear in front of the old woman, blocking her path. Hans Hikyu, don't meddle in other people's business, barked the old woman. Hans Hikyu, the Dragonblood warriors were startled and looked at Yi's Hikyu. They had the same name? Yi's Hikyu was also startled. She had never heard the true name of Daoist Heavenly Feather. She had never told her. 
For the old woman to state her name meant that the two of them had to know each other. This startled everyone even more. It seemed that Daoist Heavenly Feather's status was even more mysterious than they had expected. No, this is not meddling. The Divine Ice Palace is a protector of the Martial Heaven continent. We have our own mission and responsibility to protect the continent's peace, and we will fight to the death for the continent. Although I don't want to be enemies with you, you are bullying the juniors and trying to slaughter the pillars of the future. Since that's the case, I can only fight to the death with you, said Daoist Heavenly Feather. Bullshit. Long Chen just killed a sovereign sprout, bringing forth the weeping of the heavens. There is no way to wipe away his sins. You call him a pillar? Who can compare to a sovereign sprout when it comes to being a future pillar? Long Chen despicably killed Jarishan, and I want vengeance for my disciple. Scram, or I'll kill you with them, barked the old woman. Daoist heavenly feather, all things have karma. Although I don't know why Long Chen killed Jarishan, I believe he had his reasons. If you have the patience, we can let Long Chen tell everyone about the karma involved. Then everyone will know who is right and who is wrong. If Long Chen truly is recklessly slaughtering heavenly geniuses, I, Daoist Heavenly Feather, will be the first to kill him. How is that? Everyone was sweating for Daoist Heavenly Feather. She was currently facing a terrifying existence, one capable of tearing through the void to move. They were afraid the old woman would harm her. However, it seemed from their words that the old woman was actually a bit restrained by Daoist Heavenly Feather. Who has that patience? All I know is that he killed Jarishan, so he has to pay with his life. I don't care about the karma between them. I want them. Dead. Dead. All of them dead. Do you understand now? Get out of the way. Shouted the old woman. At some point, her face and hands became covered in black spots that were like tiny eyes. It was like devils were staring out of her. Daoist Heavenly Feather shook her head and sighed. She extended a hand. Zhikyu. Hand over your sword. 